Patreon. Patreon. Patreon.com slash toe three call. Just like maybe one more letter or something. It's tough. Anyway. What's the problem? The name of the website? Yes. Is this recording right now? Yes. Oh, okay. Hey, guys. I don't know if you heard Dan complaining about the website we're about to tell you to go to. (laughs) But did you know that we have a Patreon account and that Mm -hmm. if you contributed to that Patreon account, you get awesome bonus content that is exclusive (laughs) to Patreon.com patrons? Whoa. You can get... uh, I don't know, a weird game we play where Joe Prado just like talks a lot about movies. That's yeah. always fun. Mm-hmm. Uh, there's one uh, audio file where Molly tries to order a pizza on microphone <laughs> and basically has a breakdown. Yeah. It's amazing. It's and nice if you contribute even $1 mm-hmm. a month, you yeah. can have access to all of this ridiculous fun that we're having without you. <gasps> FOMO. Oh, damn. Ooh, hard FOMO. Patreon.com slash totes recall. That's the ticket. Totes Recall. Welcome to <laughs> Totes Recall, <laughs> the podcast about movies we don't remember uh, well, yeah. and where we talk about how we don't remember them, then eat three pizzas? We're, okay, first of all, we two hit salads, pause. cheesy bread. They, we don't eat any of this food on air. No. While just, we watch the movie off air. Yes. Yes. And yeah, it, today it's three pizzas, two salads. Yes, yeah. because it's our anniversary. Hey. Happy anniversary. Happy anniversary, us. Happy totes anniversary. Happy totes anniversary. Happy totes anniversary. Happy totes anniversary. It's been four I years. Lost, lost you were doing so well. <laughs> yeah. You were doing I know, I so lost well. It. <laughs> It's just it didn't come to my mouth fast enough. So we got an anniversary bonus pizza yeah. as a gift to ourselves. <laughs> yeah. Oh, and a pizza cake or a pizza ice cream. We got we pizza cake. Four pizzas. We got four pizzas. Oh, yeah. that's right. Our treats a pizza. Ooh, don't dessert. say that. That's oh. trademark, and they're not sponsored. Oh, yes. Pats. Trats pats. Trats a pats. From Dari Kong. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Uh, we ordered special from one of the knockoff uh, American franchises that you find in places like Iran, I think. I'll have to look it up. It happens. Uh, but this then is a we podcast. Okay. come back and talk about the movie again. Mm-hmm. Great. Yay. My name is Dan. I'm Molly. I'm also Dan. And I'm Beth. And this episode is A League of Their Own. Oh. Because of the Venn diagram of... Gina Davis being referenced in episode one. Whoa. And how much we liked Big. Whoa. Which has Tom Hanks, I think. That sounds right. That's how we got to this? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Well, some background on this. Yeah. So for our first episode, uh, we watched the movie... Batman and Robin. <laughs> Batman and Robin. Oh. Um, for our... No, Batman Forever. Batman Forever. Oh, yeah. Ugh. Oh, boy. <laughs> Shut up, nerds. <laughs> Shut up our show nerds. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So no, then, don't shut up. Please engage with us. Yeah. <laughs> At Totes Recall. Um, for our one year anniversary, we watched Total Recall, our yeah. namesake. Yes. Mm-hmm. For our two year anniversary, we watched Total Recall, the remake. Yes. Mm-hmm. And then for our three year anniversary, we developed the Anna Venn diagram, oh, right. yes. which was a combination of uh, Batman and Robin. Mm-hmm. No, Batman Forever, yep. which was the first one we ever watched, and then um Total Recall, which was our <sighs> which was first our anniversary. First anniversary. So the combination there was Arnold, Arnold Schwarzenegger. Schwarzenegger. That's the Anna Anna Venn diagram. Yeah. The, yes. Batman background done. Batman and Robin equals minus. <laughs> yes. <laughs> How does math work? Great. Right. <laughs> okay, it goes backwards. So this is this year's Venn diagram. Yes, and a Venn Suri diagram. Got it. I am so excited for this movie. Great. I will say that off the bat. Wow. Ah. Oh. Uh, oh. Off the Batman yes. Robin. Oh. Uh, no. oh I think also that was bats. in it. That was in it. <laughs> oh, yeah. No, that, that was, was part, part of the that diagram. That was part of the diagram. Really? Yeah, no, you came up with that part. I did? You really did. <laughs> oh, yep. boy. I we apologize to myself. <laughs> 
but here's the reason I, when I think of this movie, mm-hmm. I think about sisterhood. Okay. Because the two times that I've seen this movie, I have bawled <gasps> oh. at the scene where um, two sisters reconcile or when they have a fight and they reconcile later like Ooh, i get a little emotional yeah. just thinking about it because mm. i love my sister so much Aww. uh and it just did you guys have points. a fight when you were in rival baseball teams oh softball <laughs> yes oh cool wait were you actually on rival <laughs> softball teams uh, no oh. uh no that would have been awesome uh, but um but yeah i don't know i think it gets to something about that um and i think that uh uh I, it's not tom cruise tom hanks mm-hmm. um it's a delight as are Gina Davis and the entire cast, although I think Madonna struggles a little bit. Well, you know. You know. She's not like an actor by trade. She's oh, sort of an actor by... Oh, but she and Rosie by... O'Donnell became best friends from this movie. What? For a while. That was real? For a hot minute. Yeah, I think so. Wow. That seems correct. Okay. I don't know where that came from. I mean, <laughs> Molly's just, bet. I like, popped into my brain. My... Molly's bet. Rosie O'Donnell and Madonna became friends for some period of time immediately following the movie. We're like seeing <laughs> it premiere. But are time. they not? Have they Ooh. gone their separate ways? I don't know. I just think it was one of those like you know how friendships sometimes burn bright mm-hmm. and then they dissipate versus yeah. some friendships burn and build over a long period of time. Mm-hmm. I'm pretty sure this is and more like the first. Oh, but I don't dark. know. <laughs> no, I don't mean it in a bad way. Just a so lot happens a in both of, of these people's lives. Yes. To own. What? What? A League of Two's own. Yeah, A League of Two's own. Was of their Two's friendship. Own? But then they the needed war a sequel ended. to come back. Then the oh. war ended, so men came back and oh. they could be friends with men again. Yeah. Is that what happened? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if the metaphor stretches that far. Yeah, whatever. Oh, but it, there's a lot of really sad moments in this movie. Great. Mm-hmm. Yeah, there are sad moments. Are there? That I can are there? I don't. I don't do this is what I remember about the movie <clears throat> there's no crying in baseball. Right. Yep. Tom Hanks quote. Yeah. memorable so don't cry because it's sad dvds, DVDs probably, probably dvds, DVDs yep. moment yeah yep. um someone must be crying oh someone's like struggling in the outfield okay <laughs> all right madonna maybe like i got it i got it classic softball baseball mm-hmm. moment mm-hmm. oh it's not wait. madonna two Do people you... run into each other this oh, is maybe are you just, just are you talking I... about angels in the outfield maybe and i need to ask you a question do you think that they're playing baseball or softball Baseball. Okay. Mm-hmm. Because all the men have gone to war. Right. World War oh, boy. Two? Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, yes. God. Yes. Yeah, good job. Good job. There's been two world wars. Yeah, oh, but this movie us. definitely is, doesn't take place during World In War the, One. No. Oh, all right. Yeah. <laughs> so now we need to see baseball. Yeah. What if women played baseball? Someone Crazy. Th- someone thinks it's a terrible idea. A lot of people do, I think. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And the peaches? Yeah. That mm-hmm. sounds right. Georgia? Mm-hmm. Probably they're peaches, right? Yeah, sure. Uh, that's it. I mean, I presumably they win. <laughs> win what? They, yeah, what do they win? The World Series. Okay. All right. Are they a major league baseball team? No, not if they're the peaches. <laughs> I mean, was <laughs> hold on. No one would ever name was a there, major baseball team. Something was there stupid. even a major league at that point? In or was World it still was it still just regional? God, I have no idea. Baseball heads, tweet at us. Yeah, but also like but first, also shut up. Well, probably cool it for now. Give it a couple days, then tweet at us when you're not just like, oh, you don't know the, anything about America's pastime. Uh, the greatest, you know, and then start throwing out statistics at us, and then I have to like pull out like a th- novel that's just numbers. <laughs> I tried to get into baseball in college because all my <laughs> friends were into it, and it just, oh god. That's bad. Major League Baseball existed during this this time. Okay. Yeah. That's my bet. Okay. So, wait. I have a memory um, that may inform this conversation. Mm-hmm. Uh, so, um, Bill Lucas was uh, the general manager of the Braves, mm-hmm. the Atlanta Braves, mm-hmm. uh, in the 70s. Okay. And... I, if I'm remembering correctly, he was largely credited with coming up with a farm system okay. where you bring up players oh. through the minor league, mm-hmm. cultivate them, bring players up to the majors, or uh, put them back down to the minors. So based on this little piece of information, <laughs> I'm going to bet that minor leagues did not exist until after World War II, oh. and maybe as late as the 70s. Mm. So this is Major League Baseball? I mean, this is the only baseball there like, was. Yeah. Regional or yeah. regular. Like, before there was diet soda, there was only soda. Yeah. That's kind of what I'm asking. Like, I don't think 
there's ever Why a situation. Why does Dan continue to look confused? I don't know. Because I don't know what kind of baseball they're playing. Beth says there was Major League Baseball. I think. And then Molly counterbatted. Yeah. Because like. Well, you were saying uh, Minor is, League didn't when exist. When did Babe Ruth 70. play? Well, yeah. But what? D- there was just one thing. There were not two things. So a major cannot be Ooh, exist great. until a minor. It's like there is Thought no exercise. lightness without darkness. Oh. So what? Okay. What was the professional? I bet it, there, a professional baseball league existed. A oh, national yeah. sure. professional. A paid, a so paid league. what do we think that was called that's, at that but time? But see, that's oh. what I'm asking. That's, that's all I was question. asking is it whether there was a national professional league or not. I don't care I, what it's I called. I believe there was. Okay, great. So they're playing that. But they have to play yeah. each other, though. Yeah. So yeah. then they are going to the World Series. I think they have. But I, I mean, think I don't think they, they call it that. that. I think they're just kind of like, hey. I think there was a World There had to be a World Series, There's like though. a championship, whatever. There's definitely a championship game. This whole movie is just like some guy, I think it's Gary Marshall, is just like, hey, I'm a capitalist. What if we just <laughs> kept making money with women playing baseball? That's like his whole thing. Mm. Oh, I thought you meant as a director. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, he plays the part in the movie. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I think that's what happens, right? Mm-hmm. They All the men go to war. Yeah. They need somebody to play baseball. And they're like, what if we had women play baseball? And they wore short skirts yeah. and also were entertaining to watch. Oh, uh, yes. yeah. And so women it's get like a Foxy brief... Boxing. Yeah. yeah. A brief moment of empowerment and agency and getting to pursue their dreams. And yes. it's taken away from them. Oh, no. It ends with the men coming home and they're like, get out of here. You know how World War II ended. <laughs> World War II ended? I know how it, the war ended. I just don't know how the movie ends. Oh. I think the movie opens and ends on a reunion. Mm. Oh, they're like, oh, old? that reunion is yeah. a killer. They're like, remember when we played baseball? Are they like in a cemetery? Is it like a. I don't think it's. Like Saving it's Private not, Ryan? I don't think it's no. like Saving Private uh, Ryan. Uh, Matt Diamond's crying. Matt no. Diamond? <laughs> what? Are you even? <laughs> Matt Damon's brother who plays baseball? Yeah. <laughs> Matt Diamond. Or Peter Diamond's brother. Oh, yeah. okay. Yes. Peter Diamond's son, yeah. who is Matt Damon's cousin. <laughs> Uh, Matt Ring, Matt who plays Diamond. hockey. Yep. Yeah, got it. Funeral arranger. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> Jesus. Wow. Uh, no, it does not take place at a cemetery. No, but there is the specter of death at the end of the movie, for sure. Oh, someone got cancer? Something like that. I mean, there's like certainly like any movie that takes place in World War II, but then it's like, now we cut to modern times, there's going to be at least one character who's like, oh, they're gone now. I you know what I mean? Oh, yeah. Kit? yeah. Is Kit dead? Who's, Who's Kit? Kit? The oh, younger she's sister. The younger oh, sister. She's oh sister. no, really? Or Gina Davis. <sighs> uh, I th- no, I think Gina Davis is in the last scene. I'm getting chills just thinking about this. There is definitely a scene. Here's a cry moment. Great. I, I'm almost positive that there's a scene where one of the women's uh-huh. husband mm-hmm. is dead and get, like, yeah. a, in they war. Get the and they, and yeah, the... they come into Ooh. the locker room and she like, gets the letter oh, in the yeah. locker room. Rough. Yeah. Rough. Oh. Um, yeah, there's a part where they go out to like a nightclub and go dancing and eat food or something. Okay, that sounds um, like something to do. Yeah, there's the sisters get into a fight. Mm-hmm. So and they join a different team. That's yeah. like a yellow. Kit she gets transferred Kit to Racine. Is wearing like a yellow she transfers Racine. herself. Yes. Yeah. Racine, Wisconsin. She the, she the catcher. Yep. And her sister oh, is wait, the no, pitcher. Oh wait, no. Gina right? Davis is the catcher, and Kit is the pitcher yeah. because oh. Gina Davis does that split where she yeah. catches the ball oh, in yeah. the air for the papers. Oh, DVDs. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And then there's a whole uh, Tom Cruise Gina Davis storyline. Tom Hanks. <laughs> Damn it. I'm so sorry. <laughs> there would be such a different movie if it was Tom Cruise. <laughs> so oh it would God. be such a bad movie. Oh, God. Tom Hanks. Uh, but oh. they have this whole dynamic, and, and you get to see Tom Hanks' character evolve. And Tom Hanks can't go to war. Yeah, why? Right? Because of his leg? He's got a bad yes. leg? Same reason he can't play baseball anymore. Oh. And has turned to drink. He yeah. is a cad. Oh, mm-hmm. he's a cad? Yeah. He is we not a Tom nice. Hanks cat? It's a Tom Hanks cat. But he's adorable. At one Tom point, Hanks. he tells... An, an umpire that his hat makes him look like a you what? know what a you know what just what Buster Brown's upstairs neighbor yeah oh my god <laughs> what do we do we have an explicit tag because of me just say it dick thank you cool. <laughs> 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 <He> cla- <laughs> wait what his hat yeah what kind of hat is he wearing an umpire's hat <laughs> Isn't that just it's a regular baseball hat? I don't think that it has a bill on it. Oh, okay, oh. sure. It's just like a little cap thing. Is it like padded? Is it like a oh, hat? Does it have like a li- no? Go oh. ahead. A line down the middle? I don't know. <laughs> what? I don't know. It's a Molly. Real veiny hat? Is that what you're asking? No, Yikes. <laughs> 
so sorry. Uh, oh, d- Dan's um, bat. <laughs> Tommy Hanks was. Uh, he maybe he was in jail. Well, or like in a sanatorium or something. What? Like, oh, because it of his drinking. There's a joke at the beginning when mm. he's like when he's when Gary Marshall whoever's like, hey, what if you come and coach my fake baseball? There's some joke about how like oh it's they wouldn't give me real baseball. Mm. That's the point. I was speaking Patriarchy. as character. Yeah. <laughs> mm-hmm. Okay. Just for the record. All right. Well, uh, and Tommy Hanks is so gruff yeah. and uncooperative and unbelieving in this project at the beginning. Yeah, he says something about how he couldn't have a sharpened pencil. That's what I was saying. That's why I think he was in jail or in a sanatorium. Oh. Oh, because oh, he would killed himself. That. There's some joke. Oh. oh. There was some joke mm. about it. Like, joke. <laughs> 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 That was air quotes for the listeners about how, like, I think it's like, oh, you didn't write me back or something. Oh. Maybe. And he made oh. it, he makes some snide CAD comment about, like, oh, they wouldn't give me a sharp pencil or something. He for sure doesn't make it to the reunion. <sighs> oh, he I also expect. dies? What? Because he's dead? Yeah. You ready to feel that? You ready mm-hmm. to learn to love CAD Hanks and then find out he's dead? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. Great. <laughs> They travel around on buses a lot. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, a lot, a lot of buses. buses. Ooh, do we think there is a uh, road signs welcoming you to different cities montage? Ooh, I hope so. Right. I'm betting. I'm Dan's bet. Road signs welcome oh. you to different cities. And the character actors in this movie are amazing. So good. Oh, gosh. I don't know her name, but the actress who plays the very rural Iowan, I think. Yes, yeah, she's so she's good. Incredible. I should know her name. She's so good in everything she's yep. in. Mm-hmm. We'll find out. Is she like a rough and fact. tumble type? Yeah, she's super rough and tumble. Oh, is that the one though that where it's like kind of kind shitty because it's like oh sh-, you know isn't there because I feel like there's one character where it's like sometimes the humor plays too, leans too hard and you're just like oh she's not very attractive and she's just a i don't know there's i feel like there's like a weird undertone for one character where it's like oh she finally found a man and he's also like conventionally not conventionally attractive oh yeah probably that happens yeah Mm -hmm. you got very tense like you were ready to defend whatever it is i was about to say well I just really like that character, so... I'm not saying I dislike the character. I'm <laughs> just saying the movie maybe treats her in a way that's problematic with harsh 2018 eyes. I Probably. Okay. Probably. That's fine. Yikes. What is <laughs> happening? <laughs> no, I don't know. I just really like that character. Yeah, I do too, but so I feel like excited. the movie maybe treats her well, worse I, than they should. No, and I'm not looking forward to that. I'm not looking forward to having my nostalgia ripped from me. So how about that? Okay. Wow. See, it's so much easier when I don't care about the movie. I know. Because I've got nothing God. at stake. It's exhausting <laughs> when you actually like a movie. <laughs> do you think they got some singing on that bus? Oh, yes. They oh, sure yeah. Do. There's probably anthem. like, do you think they have like, like their we, own uh, fight yeah. song? Yeah. Oh, they do. They, We're they, the Georgia Peaches. I think it's They're like, we are the peaches? women of whatever league it is. Yeah, the, the women of the Bonadette League. Oh, we're women league. Nice. All American League. Why do they need a name if there's only one league, though? That sounds what? like a thing. Why do they need a name if there's only one league? What? Well, it, that's yeah, why I'm asking. If I can't have a minor without a major. That's why I'm asking if it's a regional league. If it's just in like the southern part of the country where they happen to be playing, and then maybe they'll expand it out to like the Midwest and the East Coast if it succeeds. Yeah, I mean, oh. why is there an American Airlines? Right? They weren't the first airline, though. Were they the no, first I'm airline? I'm just saying, like... You can have an American and a United and other things that claim a name. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know what we're arguing. I don't about. either. <laughs> I don't Tweet know. at us. Hashtag what are we why Molly and Dan fighting. <laughs> <laughs> Not gonna apply to either of us. Not gonna apply to either Dan. So Oh no, I'm sorry. I am protective of this movie. It's yeah, silly. and we're like I feel like Dan and I are mostly criticizing like how baseball making works. <laughs> and like the industries that this movie is about rather than the movie itself. Okay, I get that. I hear that. That's cool. So they do well at baseball and then they win the game, but there's a sister. There's I think drama. They play each there's other family, in the yeah. championship oh, game. Yeah. So, so Gina, not everyone can win. Gina Davis has a sister. Yes. Mm-hmm. And that's important. And she is like, they have a beautiful relationship oh. and like she clearly Gina Davis has been like protecting her their entire life because oh, mm-hmm. their dad's dead I don't know actually the there might be something bed, about that dad's dead sure do you think also their mom is dead Ooh, jeez. 
No, I think just the dads did. Okay. Go. Okay. Cool. I, I am. Was tra- Beth you leading me? Yes. Me. Yes. Mom's dead. I don't know. Oh, okay. I don't know. Ah, damn it. <laughs> <laughs> Stick with my guns. Dead dad. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I remember the last time I saw this movie. Like when I saw this movie, I remember thinking as I was watching it that the like romantic tension between Gina Davis and Tom Hanks was more overt. Oh. But then watching it the last time, it was actually more subtle than I was expecting, it, which I give the credit to the movie for that. Ooh, Where it's yeah. not really like they are, act- I don't know, like yeah. they're into each other, but it's not. They would never act on it. Yeah. So they're keeping it profesh. Keeping it profesh. Mm-hmm. Plus mm-hmm. she's engaged or married. She's married. Her dude is off in the oh. front. Yeah. 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 And so that te- that scene where they take way too long to deliver um, yeah. the telegram. Like they, yeah. The ladies don't know so which long. one it They is. don't know who it's going to go to. And at mm-hmm. a certain point, uh, Tommy Hanks snatches it out of the guy's hand and is like, dude, stop being so drunk. You know, like, mm-hmm. and it's very, very sad. But, and then, of course, Gina Davis feels guilty because she's so relieved that mm-hmm. it's not her husband. Mm-hmm. But anyway. But someone oh, else's. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, dance bet. Gina Davis's character. Class act. Yeah, hundred yeah. yeah. mm-hmm. percent. Um, do one of the players get pregnant or have a baby during the season? Yes, there's a baby in the. Oh, oh it's a little kid. Yes. It's a little obnoxious. Oh, and kid Tom that Hanks drives hates Tom him. Hanks yes. Yeah, it's like Dennis the Menace. Yeah, yeah. I forgot about that. Tom it's Hanks hates her... a kid. Can yeah. you write that down? <laughs> yeah, she negotiates. <laughs> trying to think of like other scenes that stand out in my mind. I know for sure there's like, um, I can only picture like Madonna like singing in a club, but maybe that's just Madonna. Or Dick Tracy. I don't remember that. Like Like all of Dick Tracy. I don't think she does. I I think this is like decidedly her acting. Yeah. But maybe she does sing. I don't know. I thought she was just like like you get Madonna, you gotta put her in sing. Oh, sing song time. Singing. It's like I think they go out to like um to celebrate a game or something in some town, and then. I don't know. I feel like dancing and singing happens. At they one definitely one. go they to definitely like bond. a group, like a bar, and that's when a uh, lady that you like mm-hmm. finds a dude. Yeah. Oh, oh are there gonna be dudes creeping? Yes. Yes. Yeah. 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 Dudes be creeping. There's definitely dudes creeping in the in the bleachers. I think yeah. in multiple ways. Yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. Like, For sure. Also, just like misogynistic mm-hmm. in a like violent way. Tom yeah. Hanks is a cat. Like he has to redeem himself through this movie. Like mm-hmm. he starts out being a real jerk to those ladies. Yeah. And mm-hmm. you will probably be like, "Whoa, Tom Hanks, cool mm-hmm. it." Yeah. Cool it. Ooh, is he the hot teen of the movie? He's. I think he is the hot teen <laughs> of the movie, actually. Um. Yeah, and then they. I don't know. They do a great job of juxtaposing like that lechery with the actual injuries mm-hmm. that women sustain doing mm-hmm. you know playing the game because they have to wear those skirts right so they don't have any protection on oh their, is their there a scene stuff. of like some real bad mm-hmm. road rash yeah it's yeah. not road but Sand that type rash. of injury yeah Ooh, god that hurts a lot it does yeah, yeah it's pretty bad there's a line in this mm. movie that my siblings and i really loved as children where uh john lovitz is in this movie oh, oh I forgot about and that. he is like a recruiter for the new American or United Lady <laughs> League. <laughs> and he recruits Gina Davis and her sister, who are Midwestern farm girls. Mm-hmm. And he, at one point, they go out to the baseball field and he goes, Look, cowgirls, grass, don't eat it. In a very sassy John Lovitz way. Yeah. Mm-hmm. My siblings and I thought that was hilarious. <laughs> uh, so Molly's bet she's mad at Dan's siblings from several <laughs> years ago. Why? Just kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> Because I enjoyed uh, <laughs> a line in the movie. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Uh, I uh, Molly's bet it passes Bechdel Wallace. Oh yeah, great. Oh, yeah. What if it didn't? That would be oh, amazing. Oh my god! Like that would actually be like uh, impressive. Yeah. Right. <laughs> yeah. If it doesn't, I will eat my baseball hat. Yes. Oh. Yes. Nice. Oh yeah, like you would actually have to like try. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like, you have to work really, really hard. Every scene would have to be about a dude. And like every line between the players would have to explicitly <laughs> never address each other by name. <laughs> Ever. Yeah. Yeah, they couldn't shout sports things at each other. Like, I got it. Right. They'd be like, I got it for you, coach. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Like, I got it, Mr. Hanks. <laughs> I'm catching it, Mr. Hanks. <laughs> Tell Gina that I'm going to throw this fastball, <laughs> Hanks. <laughs> Ooh. I wonder if they're friends. Who? Gina Davis and Tom Hanks. I, I don't think they'd know. be good friends. 
I mean, I would assume anyone who comes into contact with Tom Hanks becomes friends with him, right? Yeah. I would, I would, I would think so. I think that's Except about both of wife. them. Except his ex-wife. Am yeah. I right? Except what? His ex-wife. Oh. Who's his ex-wife? I don't know. Oh. Lady? Well, he, got, he got married and then got divorced. Oh. That's when? Sad. Early on. Okay. <laughs> but I think... I guess tweet at us, Hank's heads. Yeah, or Channing Tatum. <laughs> like, if you got the hot guys. Yeah, yeah. Jay Tate's obviously mm-hmm. his current wife, Rita Wilson. Wilson. <gasps> oh. Is maybe like a the other woman <gasps> from early on in that first what? marriage. Hanks. Oh yeah, because Colin Hanks. That's not his mom. Correct. What? Mm-hmm. Hanksdrama.com. Wait, so wait, so did. <laughs> Did Tom Hanks and and Rita Wilson produce that weird rapper kid that nobody likes? What? What? Isn't one of Tom Hanks' kids like a gross rapper? Eminem? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yes. Tom Hanks is Eminem's dad. Yes. Oh. You heard it here first. Wow. Marshall Mathers. Right. Tom no, Hanks. I don't. It really. Think no, about it. I see it. Nope. Checks yeah. out. I see it. Yeah. Checks out. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> anyway, I still love you, Tom Hanks. Yes. Oh. Be friends with Gina Davis? Where, what? what are no, we talking I about? I was just asking. But okay. also, why like can't? Hey, can... why aren't you friends with Gina Davis? Yeah, yeah. she seems nice too. Yeah, Maybe hey. reach out. <laughs> Connect, make some real connections. This is why we need a League of Two's own. The... <laughs> We're remaking Jumanji from here to the moon. Oh, we sure. can't remake a League, League of, of Two's own? Zones where Tom Hanks and Gina Davis are just older people and friends. Yeah, but also enjoy baseball. They go to baseball games together. <laughs> oh yeah. Wait, we wasn't should do that a League Jimmy of Fallon their... movie. Huh? Oh, yeah. Or is that a soccer? Favorite I don't remember. Pitch. It was a Favorite remake pitch. of the book by Nick Hornby, which is about It was a soccer. remake of a book? Not remake. Uh, an adaptation oh. of the book, which is about soccer, but the movie's about... made it about baseball? Baseball. Mm. Got it. Because America. Yeah, USA number five. Number five. Number, number five. five. Did you know that that final scene with... At the cemetery. Are we talking about no, this movie or another movie? I was going to switch to talk about the other movie. Talking about Fever Pitch. Fever, Fever Pitch. Pitch. Jimmy Fallon. I've and never seen it. Is it Drew Barrymore? Drew Barrymore. Yeah, and Drew Barrymore. <laughs> Drew Barrymore. Drew Barrymore. There's a scene in the finale where the uh, Red Sox actually win the World Series mm-hmm. despite the odds, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. and they go running out on the field and they kiss. Oh. And I remember watching the actual World Series finale when the Red Sox actually won, and I was like, "Who is that red-haired lady and that dude kissing?" And it turns out that they just like shot it mm-hmm. live. Oh. Yeah. Do it live. Do it live. Wow. It's gonna. Be, why would you set that up if you can just take advantage Wait, of the situation? So they're filming Fever Pitch. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And then Jimmy Fallon and Drew Barrymore are Barbara at Ryan. the final game. Yeah. Yeah. Just in case they win, so they can do it live. Yes. Yeah. All right. All right. There you go. Movie magic. So, movie magic. And, you know, and Wait, the Red think... Sox were not doing well until that movie got made. So do you think just... they rigged it? No. I'm just throwing that out there. <gasps> Ooh. Man. Hollywood, Hollywood machine. Whoa. Wow. Probably My oh, a diamond. Oh, Red Sox fans, cool it. <laughs> just preemptively, yeah. if any of you hear this, yeah. and I suggest that they did not win through merit <laughs> and absolutely not at all steroid-laced muscles. Or just out cool buying. It. Yep. Yeah. But, it, but that's baseball's fun. Yeah, yeah. Uh, this like is one baseball. of those. What I like baseball. Yeah, yeah, this is one of those movies where it reminds me that, like, as a concept and as like a cultural artifact, I love baseball. But like, actually, actively following the sport, Ooh, I just can't do it. So long, I it's can't boring. do it. Well, it's not only like the game itself is so long, but the season is so long. Yeah, mm-hmm. they literally play over a hundred games. Yeah, but also yeah. on the other side of that, I think football is even worse. So I don't know what I want. Oh wow! Well, maybe and that's you... only like what. 10 games? Maybe you eight? like uh, a different sport. Or just don't care for sports that much. Oh. oh. I will tell you this. I like I going to baseball really games, though. I enjoy... I like going to baseball games, and I love listening to baseball games on the radio. Oh, sure. That's charming. And whoever the announcer is for the St. Saint Paul Saints mm-hmm. is exceptional. Really paints a picture, uses language that I'm like, that is only used in baseball. <laughs> it is really great. Yeah. And um, I would listen to that all day long. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. So... Hot tip. Try Saint listening Paul to that. Saints. St. Paul Saints. Radio. Radio. Coverage. It's like. Dot com. Yep. Dot com. Okay. <laughs> Slash Totes Rico. Uh, wherever uh, St. Paul Saints now games are We're sponsored. Served. We got yeah. a sponsor. Yeah. 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 Yes. <laughs> yes. So I'm pretty clear on how many. Mm. Oh. You're going to like get mad at yourself if you do this wrong. 
yeah. you're so invested in this movie. Pressure is on. It's going to be our rating um, scale. You know, for the whole movie. Holly is leaning back right she's now. Leaning back. She's like holding her own face holding in her, her hands. It's a full count. Yep. Mm-hmm. She's really got to nail this one. Mm-hmm. And, and the pitch. Oh, sorry. Oh, that was okay. Ready? And the pitch. How many Tommy Hanks nemesis children are you going to <gasps> And it's one? going out of the wow. park! Back, 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 back. It's gone. <laughs> wow. Homer. Yeah. Mm. Oh, you think that's a kid's name? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We're like, leave Homer that Hanks. kid at Homer, huh? Uh, Tommy Hanks, Nemesis Children. I love it. I fully accept this Excellent. rating system. Because <laughs> those scenes are great, if I remember oh, them correctly. I thought we were still talking about Eminem. Great. I'm on no. board. Oh, no. We're talking, about the, we're talking about the kid in the movie, right? Yeah, yeah, not yeah. Marshall Mathers. No. No. Marshall Mathers. Is something His secret that. child that he hates or whatever. That's not true. We established. Oh, I see. Okay. Yeah. Channing Tatum, please clarify this for us. <laughs> and update us on who is still friends oh, from yeah. a League of Their Own cast. <laughs> I, w- I would yeah, love that's to. Right. We now have two <laughs> questions yeah. in play. Yeah. There are two different friendships in play for are they still friends? Yeah. Were they ever? Yeah. Did they friends? Uh, Did they did friends? They friends. <laughs> oh, okay. Um, I remember enjoying this movie, but I also remember thinking, like I said, like, like things were not the way I thought they were. Like the last time I watched it. Now I'm trying to remember if they were like in a way that was negative in any way. Mm-hmm. So I'm going to say four because I want to be cowardly, but I also don't remember disliking the movie. <laughs> so I'm like bumping up to four to be safe, but still give myself room to grow. Oh. If it surprises me. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I'm going to say five. Whoa, wow. That's so wow. many Bulls. children. I'm not a coward. Yeah. All right. <laughs> You don't even need this movie to be empowered. No. You're already there. Exactly. Mm-hmm. The p- I don't need to be empowered at all. The power is within me. Wow. Oh, wow. Feminism. Wow. Hashtag feminism. That's nice. <laughs> yeah. um, I'm also going to say four. Okay. Because I, I feel like this movie's good, but Typical also I don't man. remember anything about it. That's true. Like, like you I, don't wanna, I remember yeah. almost nothing. Yeah. So how good could it have been for me? Wow. wow. For him at the time, though. Yeah. He's mm. giving himself room to grow. But maybe I was a hot teen at the time. Oh, that's yeah. true. You're probably like, like Ugh, what are these women doing yeah. playing baseball? Why is Tom Hanks <laughs> only in half of the movie instead of all of the movie? Yeah. <laughs> um, and so I've cooled it. Mm-hmm. And now it's, I'm ready. I'm yeah. primed. I'm at a full count Ooh. to Bases knock a loaded. five. Oh, what? Gosh. To give it a five. Yeah. I'm okay. ready to hit oh, a sure. home run. and yep. Plus an extra base. Gets yep. four, three <laughs> RBIs. Four RBIs? Do you get your own RBI? Oh <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, it's, a runs, it's a runs batted in. Yeah. You must. <laughs> yeah. Because you get that run and yeah. you bat it. Yeah. yeah. Okay. <laughs> So, Grand Slam plus one yep. potential. But these are okay. children in this case, remember. Oh but I'm betting I'm betting one Grand Slam's worth of children, which is four. <laughs> oh, <man. laughs> wow. Yeah. I was tempted initially mm-hmm. to be cautious with four to protect my heart in case mm-hmm. I don't oh. love this movie as much. I have much a follow-up I question for you to. after you give us your rating. However, I am inspired by Beth K. Gibbs and I... Hashtag feminism. Hashtag feminism. <laughs> I'm Hashtag going, sisterhood. Don't write down five before I say the number five, Dan. <laughs> <sighs> number five. Five children? Oh, it's already written. Yeah, five okay. children. Uh, five uh, Tommy Hanks nemesis children. Okay. Follow-up question. Yeah. Uh, what percentage are you worried I'm going to ruin this movie for you in the second half? Ooh, 25%. Okay. Yeah, that's oh, pretty good yeah, considering pretty good. how tense we got earlier. Well, I mean, if if there are words about that particular character, mm-hmm. I wouldn't sit close to me. Whoa, it's possible it's gonna be my, weird because we're in, in close very small proximity. Space. Yeah, and and this is an audio format, so it's all words. Yeah, yeah. So like, if my larynx is closed up, <laughs> that's it. Oh no, I I'm sure it'll be fine. Friendship. <laughs> <laughs> and with that, we're going to hit pause slash space bar. Uh, go eat some pizza, salad, and a frozen cookie treat. Ooh. And we'll be right back. And we're back. We just watched 126 minutes of American goodness. Ooh. Ooh. It got a little heavy handed at times. Yeah. 
I mean, anything more. that can be described as American goodness will probably get heavy handed <laughs> at times. It is way more heavy handed than I rec- recalled. Mm-hmm. Yes. <gasps> the name That's of the our show. show. Oh. Happy anniversary, everybody. Yeah. We're doing the show. <laughs> um, I just want to quickly mention that everything I mentioned before is pretty much wrong. About what? Oh, anything baseball related. <laughs> so, so was mine. Now looking mm-hmm. at my initial bets. Ooh. They yeah. They didn't win the big game. No. 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 They're not in the Major League Baseball. No. No. They're not the Georgia Peaches. No. no. There was no crying in baseball, though. I got that one. Right. <laughs> yeah. Very good. It. Oh, and we also forgot about that quintessential line about uh, baseball being hard, right? Yeah. Because if it good. weren't hard, everybody would do it. That was a great line. The yeah. Hard is Tommy what makes Hanks. It great. Yeah. Tom Hanks. Oh. Mostly sober Tom Hanks. Can we just jump right in with Tom Cad Hanks? Cad Hanks, as we call him during <laughs> most of the years. <laughs> Such a cad. Such a cad. But also like, ugh, lovable. It's deep down. You can mm-hmm. tell deep down he wants to be good. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, I was trying to, because you don't like him at the beginning, mm-hmm. but, but you, you also kind of do because he's Tom Hanks. Yeah, yes, exactly. <laughs> and then by the end, you do like him. Right. And looking, when I was at the end, looking back, I don't know when it swapped. I guess when he cares about baseball again. Mm -hmm. I think there's, I feel, I mean, the movie, I think, did a pretty good job of, like, easing us into him giving a shit. Well, they also do a good job of easing us into him being such a cad. Yes. Because they have the John uh, Lovitz character to be a thousand times worse. Like, cartoonishly. Cartoonishly bad. (laughs) Ridiculous. So that by the time you meet him, you're like, oh, people are gruff in baseball instead of, like, who is this outrageous person. Yeah. I never really disliked him. No. I thought he was just... Like, damaged. <laughs> damaged, yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. And he yeah. wasn't that nice to people. But yeah, when he sta- when uh, he and Dottie do the battle to see who's going to make the oh, call, so right? Good. They're both uh, making call so good. signals yeah. from the dugout. Yep. Excellent. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> um, and they get into a competitive thing, and he's like, who's the manager here? And I'm the manager here. And she says, well, act like it. That's a turning point. Yeah. 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 I'm now just describing the movie, but it was really But he's cool. like still an asshole. Yeah. Like yeah. the whole time. Yeah. Uh, but it, I don't know. It was kind of, it was nicely done how they, they did show like his different, like the relationships, his different relationships with some of the women involved in, right? Mm-hmm. So like obviously he and Gina Davis are like actually becoming genuinely close. Yeah. And like clearly respect each other mm-hmm. and maybe more. Okay. Uh, and then, but then like, there's that great scene in the end where like Evelyn who oh. he like screamed at and made cry and generated the DVDs. There's <laughs> yeah. no kind of baseball scene. Yeah. At another point, he's like angrily, you know, gruff baseball managing him, but he's like desperately holding his rage in. <laughs> yeah. And it was such a beautiful moment where he's like just cartoonishly ready to burst. And he's like trying <laughs> so hard. He's using every ounce of willpower he's gained from his like, <laughs> what, three weeks of sobriety or whatever? <laughs> To not scream at Evelyn. And he specifically says, work on that for next season. Yeah. Because he's like, you're still good. You still yeah. got the goods. You still can play. Yeah. But then you could tell it still took him like another 20 <laughs> minutes to like power down. It was good. It was yeah, good that scene. scene was great. Yeah. Yeah, I feel like he doesn't He doesn't really change much. And uh, like if you looked at him like mm-hmm. and you're like a good to bad scale. Yes. He kind of stays in the same spot. The only thing is that he becomes less misogynistic i guess he just but not really like yeah about them he respect he respects them yes he goes from not respecting them to respecting them yes and maybe even respecting himself a little yeah oh. because he turns down a different job to oh stay. right that's true yeah yeah money marshall tries to give him a real quote real baseball job mm-hmm. yeah with the men folk we know that this is real baseball yeah what this is real baseball. Oh, yeah. he doesn't need to go sure. to no, a real baseball. Because they're a real baseball been... team. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Remember how I yelled ab- at you earlier in the podcast about it? <laughs> yes, I okay. do now. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> that was a callback. I, I can't believe I forgot that Penny Marshall directed, produced yeah. and directed this. I'm also surprised none of us remember that. Yeah, I had it in the back of my mind and I forgot to say anything. So it basically counts as... So Not. were her and Hanks like a team for a while? Because didn't she wasn't she involved in Big? She did Big, yeah. Yeah, I think she directed Big. Mm. They released a two film team. Sure. Mm-hmm. I guess tweet at us, Hank but Heads. It's yeah. Part of that 
and a Venn diagram. Yeah, 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 it did work out to have suddenly an extra element to our Anna Vender. Although we already had Big in there. Yeah, but we like it's were the same just circle. referring to Tom Hanks in Big. We didn't realize it was a double dip into Big. Right. Mm-hmm. Yeah. More depth. In oh, thicker circle. also, <laughs> uh, weird, like, just kind of like offshoot bonus circle in the Anna Venn diagram. Not really Anna Venn so much as just our show. This movie was co-written by Babalu Mandel, who also wrote our favorite movie, <laughs> City Slickers. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Ugh. Ooh. That one's rough. Mm-hmm. That's a rough stuff movie. Do you think Babalu wrote all of John Lovett's lines? And that's yeah. Like, oh, we yeah. need someone to write shitty men. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, and then, yeah, because I had to pair up with somebody. Are we still talking about how great Tom Hanks is? Sure. Okay. Are you talking about him peeing? Oh, yeah. Okay. So it's established that he was like a terrible drunk, and he wasted five years of his baseball career that he Mm -hmm. would give anything to get back, he tells Gina Davis. For even one day, yeah. Yes, because he's mm -hmm. telling her not to quit, because he very slowly quit. By drinking for five years. Yeah. He quit life. Yes, he did quit life. And oh. then he fell out of a hotel room that he set on fire yeah. and broke his knee and couldn't play baseball anymore. Whoa, I missed that part. Really? Yeah. yeah. Maybe I was getting some more salad. Yeah, yeah. maybe. Uh, <laughs> so he is introduced, first introduced just talking to Gary Money Marshall, uh, who plays Harvey something. Henry? Harvey Chocolate Harvey. Bar. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yes. Mr. Chocolate Mr. Bar. Chocolate Bar. <laughs> Gary Marshall. Yeah. The other, me and the other owners. Of Bl- I don't know. It's hard to do Gary Marshall unless you do the cartoon version that Paul F. Tompkins does. Yeah. Um, <laughs> uh, but first, yeah. First, you just learn that he's just a washed up drunk. And then when you first meet him, when the fir- girls first meet him, he is an actual drunk and clearly has been drinking all day. And he stumbles over to the urinal pits that are still an important part of baseball stadiums. Yep. And it's not comfortable. <laughs> yeah. It's a... It's like the only place you see urinal troughs, troughs yeah. anymore. Yeah, mm. yeah. What a weird thing. Yeah. So you just kind of all line up. Yep. Yeah, and you just kind of have to like, if it's a crowded day, you just sort of have to, you know, get in there. Get in there. Like, yep. Cross. Touch. Oh, it, I mean, it'll <laughs> happen. It can happen. Sure. sure. Oh. Usually oh. not on purpose, unless you're like with your bros. You're that's like, <laughs> that's yeah. cross the streets. Yeah. That's uncomfortable. Mm-hmm. Anyway, Tom Hanks stumbles to the urinal trough yeah. in the locker room. Doesn't say a word to any of the women. <laughs> He starts going for it. Uh, it goes on for a while. May, Madonna's character, starts timing it. I don't think she ever actually says aloud how long he okay. was going for mm-hmm. it. But also, she's like, she's yeah. like into it. She's into it. Well, she, <laughs> I think, honestly, I think what it is is because she's a mischievous, sexually liberated woman. I think mm-hmm. she's at least like, oh, I wonder what his dick looks like. <laughs> yeah, that's what, you know what I, I mean. Thought, like, I thought she, she was going to go look at it. Yeah. Yeah. She like walks like everybody else is kind of standing back and yeah. she walks right up there. And also is biting her lip in a very sensual way. I mean, way. she's a sensual lady. Mm-hmm. But like a drunk dude peeing? All the way, I May. Mean, whatever your kink is, we support you. I think it was just an unconventional turn she's of mischievous. that she is set up to appreciate. Yeah. Whereas other people might feel a little cowed or uncomfortable by it. Yeah, May embraces chaos. Mm-hmm. May is the mm. Loki she's of the, yeah. the yeah. Rockford <laughs> Peaches. <laughs> May is... Not only a name, mm. but also an attitude. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That's right. I still don't understand. I don't either, but it's still that, a great line. You don't understand? Do you want, I can, like I may? Yeah. Can you? Or you may? Can you like, yeah, please explain it to yeah, all of us? Uh, will you sleep with me? I may. Oh. Like that. Oh, it's like an uncertainty? No, it's like no, she's, it's a, like she's teasing. She teases men. Oh. Flirty. Oh. She's all flirty. Like if she's not a definite no. Yes. Oh, so the default is no. Well, and in 1943. I mean, 1943. I think this is started in three. Yeah. Got it. Uh, now yeah. I understand. Oh, yes. Yeah. Anyway, Tom Hanks pees for a long time. And at certain points, they cut to Tom Hanks peeing. Yeah. And I think he did a solid acting job <laughs> of a dude finally getting to pee. Yeah. Like, I have, ex- I have lived that truth. <laughs> and sometimes... Like you, there. I don't know. I'm sure there's like a physiological thing where like there is like because there's some part of your brain that it's like we are getting such a strong signal from the bladder, like it's screaming at us, deal with this. And when you finally do, I think your brain's like, good job, buddy, and just like floods your brain <laughs> with like dopamine or something, because yeah. it really is. It's yeah. bliss. Yeah, it's bliss. 
Yeah. Yeah. And then that hungover pee where he like leans right. against the oh, wall. Oh, he leans too. into his arm. That's like taking long he, enough a mini nap. All of his energy is going into <laughs> peeing. Like he has no reserves left, so he has to lean on the wall. Oh. oh. Mwah. He crushes it. <laughs> he crushes it. Get them Goats statues. Recall, he you? generally crushes it in this movie, though. Like he is such yeah. an asshole, but like he commits to it. And he knows he's Tom Hanks. Yeah, you know he I mean? still knows he's Tom Hanks, yeah. right? A different... <laughs> <laughs> you know what? Oh, does he? No, I mean, just because this is how I perceived it, yeah. uh-huh. I thought that he forgot that he was Tom Hanks. <gasps> oh, did oh you? that's <laughs> why he was such a jerk? <laughs> yeah. No, yeah. well, I think, I mean, that's why he was so... He acted so well mm. because he really believed he was that character. <laughs> Jimmy Dugan? Yeah. Wow. He really took on the personality wow, wow, and the wow, traits wow, wow. and <laughs> completely forgot, I am Tom Hanks. Yeah. And he just thought, I am Jimmy. Do you think at the end of shooting, Penny Marshall had to like pull up, like, hey, Jimmy, come here. Come here. Yeah. And then just slapped him across the yeah, face. And then he was like, oh my Remember God. Remember who you are. <laughs> yeah. He's like, I'm... <laughs> A 12-year-old boy in the body of a full-grown man. I have to find my mother. She thinks I've been kidnapped. Yeah. Uh, But, I mean, he still brings that Tom Hanks to it. Yes. Where the whole... It's still, like... He's still funny about it. Yeah, and if this movie... Like, he's got funny rage. mm -hmm. Like, there's a version where it's legit scary. Yes. And you think he's gonna, like, assault the team. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Anyone. Right. (laughs) He does spank... The like oh he treats the chaperone. Well, what is, is that her yeah, job? Like, she's as just a like teen the mother. Chaperone? I don't know yeah. what yeah, yeah. chaperone. Yeah. Okay, but He's she's uptight. So yeah, she, oh, <laughs> she dresses. Well, yeah, I know it's well, weird. There was so much of this movie that was very cartoonish. Yes, and and played that way. Yes. And our poor chaperone really gets yeah treated. Gets get the cartoon dirt thrown in her face from Lou the bus yes. driver. Oh, that was awful. Oh, Lou. I feel like that was supposed to be funny, but I legit was like, oh my Felt god. Yeah. yeah, it was yeah. bad. Although that it did lead into the biggest laugh line for me of the movie, which I'd completely forgotten about, which is where uh, Tom Hanks gets woken up and oh, he's in this god, drunken so bluster good. and he's just enraged because he's like, why are we not moving? Yeah. Why is the bus not moving? And somebody says, Lou, quit. Yeah. And he goes into a rage, and then it's like, who's Lou? Yeah, yeah. And then, <laughs> like, it just I, keeps I'm, going. I'm not Tom Hanks. That's why it wasn't hysterical when I said it. But if I were, I <laughs> yeah. guarantee you. Yeah. And it, like, he keeps going, and then he, like, stumbles out of the bus and, like, doesn't even enunciate as he's, like, <laughs> shouting them to get back. He's like, you gotta get back in the bus. Get back in. <laughs> so good. Oh, he's great. He's great. If this, yeah, like, I, I think Hanks is key to that role working like if mm-hmm. you remade this movie today you got some fucking hot team. comic male actor of the day they would lean into it too hard and it'd be like some stand-up who talks about his dick for an hour <laughs> except playing a baseball man yeah and it wouldn't it'd just be uncomfortable because just mm-hmm. like this guy is such a dick and that's all you could yeah. think except i would watch channing tatum in a league of two zones sure oh. wait who's the other one is he the He's Jimmy Dugan. Who's the other oh. one? Oh. The other one what? Of the two. Oh, no. It's just a sequel. There's oh. no two managers. I thought... I Didn't we say at the beginning that A League of Two Zone was just like <laughs> Rosie O'Donnell and Madonna themselves? Yeah, yeah it was. Or okay. maybe Gina Davis and Tom Hanks? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, sure. Okay. Is oh, A League of Two myself. Zone like, one, like two the baseball team two is like... Zone. They've... Yeah. Too the league, women have furious. been playing baseball since World War II. Oh. The men never took over, and now the men get a team. Because oh. the women have to go to war. Alt- yes, yeah. alternate women war. timeline. I and so it. Gina Davis comes back to coach the team. Yes, mm-hmm. yes, yes. And now yes. she's a drunk, and yes. she <laughs> walks into the locker room, yes. pees in the sink for yes. two minutes. I would uh. watch this movie back. <laughs> <laughs> Call us, Hollywood. Yeah, I'm not even kidding. This sounds amazing. <laughs> I just want to assure our listeners, I did try to do my due diligence on oh, the yeah. hashtag did they friends. <laughs> yes, she oh, did. Yeah. Um, you know, oh. it's just not as easy to find out if celebrities are actually friends Hold as you might think. I just want it to be clear to the I listener. thought it would be an internet search. I want, Yeah, I want it to be clear to the listener. Literally, during the movie, <laughs> at one point, Molly tried to surreptitiously... <laughs> Speak into her phone. Like she kind of whispered in a way like, and I like, don't want anyone else I don't to want hear else, that this I, is happening. But then she was too coy about it. So then I looked over and on the screen of her phone was the question, are Madonna and Rosie Madonna friends? <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
And what did you find out? Well, I found out that Madonna stood up for Rosie O'Donnell during the presidential debates. Oh. Oh. Mean things. Um, and then I came to a website that was so bizarre. <laughs> I, I don't know. I wonder if I ended up on 4chan was or something. Was it Madonna and Rosie O'Donnell like. friends.com? No, well, no, it didn't okay. have that. But if somebody anonymously posted, basically, are they friends? Please discuss. Are they friends and were they ever friends? Oh. Which is something I had never considered because they seem like friends to me. They've and got a great dynamic actors, going. They have a great dynamic. Yeah. Um, and boy, as full of hooey as I've been in my life, there was just a bunch of hooey being slung, <laughs> and it was being slung with attitude. Uh-huh. Like, oh, sure, right. Like, people have to be good friends, or, or yeah, they're not friends, but they went to Israel together in 2007, so how about that? And this would be like, you have to be friends to go to Israel. It was like, I mean, it was probably actually middle schoolers. I don't know. Probably not. I don't actually. think so. Yeah, really? I think there's some, like, sixth grader who's like, no. oh, Rosie O'Donnell and Madonna. <laughs> <laughs> Two extremely I, current references. I would love to meet that kid, though. <laughs> if there is a sixth grader now who is like very into the dynamic between Madonna and Rosie O'Donnell, I bet that kid is a hoot. Yeah, can't we use that mind Facebook data for something good? Like, what celebs are friends? Yeah, right? Like, which celebrities are real friends? Yeah. Dot com backslash. Tots Recall. Tots Recall. Yeah. I mean, Dan, you can attest to this. It is one of the joys of social media to see Chris Ludacris Bridges post two <laughs> muscly harm emojis under every single Instagram post of Dwayne The Rock Johnson. Yeah. It's a delight. And Vin Diesel. I know they're real friends. Right. <laughs> Vin Diesel and Ludacris, Chris Ludacris Bridges, let's be clear. Yeah. For sure. Yeah, I mean, Vin Diesel and uh, The Rock, not they, so much. Mm-hmm. That must be hard for him. Who? Mm-hmm. Chris, Chris Ludacris, Ludacris Bridges? Bridges? You know what? He's stuck in the middle? <laughs> yeah. yeah, but I think he's also like, you know what? With yeah. those arms. Family yes. always. I'm going to do my diligence to keep everybody. Two biceps. Two oh. biceps. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's like the middle child. Sure. Oh, speaking of sibling rivalry. Ooh. Man. Man. I remembered the sweet parts of sisterhood from this movie. Yeah. Mm-hmm. They did not move me as much in this viewing as they have in previous viewings. Yeah. Molly you, did not you and your cry. sister are on the rocks or something? Or the what? last time I saw this movie, I was high. Nice. <gasps> and so I think that may have contributed to the emotional, <laughs> emotional um, interpretation. <laughs> what? what? Yeah. You weren't Team. feeling real feels during this no, viewing? I mean, I... part of it could have been that every time they said something that like could have been taken emotionally, I was like, <laughs> Dumb. <laughs> oh, yeah. We should, for the listeners, Beth had a black little heart during the last Dakota of this movie, even though it was beautiful and heartfelt. Mm-hmm. And these women are American heroes and family always. Oh, and yeah. Jaquette did not realize this was based on a true story. <laughs> is that real? <laughs> yeah, I didn't know. Well, I mean, it's not based on a true story, is it? What the do you the mean? league really happened. League well, yeah, real. the league happened, but the, like those sisters aren't, those aren't oh, real people. Right? I don't. I think they're, yeah, I think they're I like composite. Yeah, I don't think yeah. any of them are actually but it, real. women people. did play baseball during World War II. Yes. yes. Yeah, and yeah. they did stand in the V for victory during mm. the national anthem. Great. That's go. real. That was news to me. Though watching it, I was like, it occurred to me, I was like, this seems like a movie about something that happened. <laughs> <laughs> how, how often do you have that reaction to a movie? Not often. Okay. I don't think it's a common one. Okay. So you weren't watching Home Alone and like, well. I can see that. But but probably most movies set in World War II times. I mean, some of them, not like Hellboy. That's well, set during World War II? I mean, parts of it. I mean, I guess the Nazis did have a branch of the Wonder cult, Woman. and they were blah, 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 blah. Yeah. Anyway, I want to get back to this sibling crap. I okay. don't want Beth to poo-poo this like she's trying, clearly yeah. trying to do. Let's get real. Let's talk about the touching heartfelt emotionally wrought dynamic between two sisters who are of the love of each other that mm-hmm. comes against the love of the game it's true mm-hmm. and I, I would roll. like to add there was so much oh come on there was so much <laughs> foreshadowing in the beginning which mm-hmm. I completely missed mm-hmm. not since the matrix have I seen so much foreshadowing yeah, they lay it on a little thick they lay it on a little yeah. thick <laughs> but I mean I've completely missed it I mean one time it's pretty clear why I missed it but um, I completely missed it before but yeah there's a great moment where she has her her grandchildren are playing baseball and she pulls one aside and says, mm, yeah. hey, he's your little brother, so no matter what, let him give him a shot, you know? And then tells the younger brother to kill it. 
Uh, so yeah, and it's really sweet because that's basically what will happen at the end, yeah. which we have so many questions about and we should really talk about. Yes. Um, but in the interim, I just want to say, I thought their dynamic was so sweet and mm -hmm. believable. Yep. And I guess maybe because I'm a little sister, I could really feel Kit's frustration with always being lesser than and in the shadow of her exceptional older sister. Mm -hmm. I thought that was really powerful and cool and they showed it in so many ways. Yeah. That by the time she blows up at the end and she gets really emotional, you're not like, oh, that's dumb. Why is she overreacting? Unless you're Beth Gibbs. Unless you're Beth Gibbs. Yeah. Well, you know what? Device. I'm an older sister. Uh, so. Okay. So I'm like, Ugh, quit trying to compete with wait, me. Is that what it, how did you feel about that? What's your, wait, okay, first of all, where are you in your family's sibling order? Uh, either youngest or middle, depending on how you count it. Sure. Uh, do you want to talk about why? <laughs> For Molly's sake? went over to Molly. <laughs> <laughs> my parents are divorced. <laughs> <laughs> and my mom remarried and had another oh. child uh -huh. with her new husband, uh -huh. my stepfather. Uh -huh. <laughs> but she's much younger than I am. Mm -hmm. So in that sense, I'm still the youngest because growing up, she wasn't around. You didn't have yeah. that dynamic where you were like playing baseball with her. Yeah, we never played baseball together. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But you'd like talk to each other. Yeah, we talked to yeah, each other. Okay. <laughs> cool. She's still around. We play ultimate frisbee, oh, and nice. I realize that I oh. am old and can't run now. <laughs> <laughs> and just run out of breath and vomit on the side of the field. Oh my god! Real story. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, it didn't. Oh, I didn't connect with the. I didn't really connect with it. I was never... My brother is probably more uh, successful than I am. <laughs> uh, but I wasn't mad about it. Sure. Yeah. Did, did you ever play sports together? No. No. Wow. Okay. Sorry. Well, I'm I, glad it wasn't yeah. a story of your life. Cause... Did you guys play sports together? You and your sister? Yeah. Uh, no. We okay. had different rivalries. Yeah. Sure. Um, man, I remember one time because I don't. It, it, I think what really spoke to me less than the sports sports rivalry was how the emotions build up and the dynamic builds up over a long period of time, over many many years, in a way that most human relationships don't form mm -hmm. that way. Mm -hmm. And so then the most random thing can be the final straw. Um, and. At one time, it was just a hairbrush. Ooh. I don't know what happened. I don't remember what led up to it. But before I knew it, we were rolling around on the ground fighting for it like you would fight for a grenade. And it was ridiculous. And I think at a certain point, we had to acknowledge that because it just got like... But it... it but Who got the brush? Yeah, though? who got the brush, though? Um, I stole it initially, yeah. and she got it from me. Because she's bigger and stronger. Sure. And that's mm -hmm. the whole thing. I think that's the reason for the physical question, right? Because mm -hmm. if you're... I think to be physically overpowered by an, over, an older sibling over and over again is a real part of what forms that relationship. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, well, that's yeah. it. <laughs> because I have a younger brother. And so there was a point in time where I was much bigger than him mm -hmm. and like could push him around. And then eventually he got much bigger than me. Yeah. And that was a sad day. Mm -hmm. <laughs> sad day for Beth Gibbs. <laughs> My situation was that if it weren't for our oldest sibling, my my sister, if she hadn't been around, I probably would have gotten pushed around a ton by my brother because he was always bigger than me. But they were always too busy antagonizing each other. Uh -huh. So I just got to sit back and <laughs> watch the show. Light on by. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It was, I was intrigued by how little Dottie, right? Mm -hmm. That's Gina, the old Gina, Gina Davis. Davis. Yep. Like, mm -hmm. she wasn't, very active in that like it seemed like kit reacting against it and dotty was just like living her life mm -hmm. yeah and, like, oh trying then... to help out a little bit that's okay. kind of how it goes that's how it goes okay. the no, older no. siblings just trying to live their life <laughs> and the uh, younger siblings trying to like no i'm better than you <laughs> i think we can hush our mouths and the evidence <laughs> that i bring to bear is the moment where they're trying to make up after a fight mm -hmm. and kit says you won't even let me walk faster than you and Gina Davis's character says, oh, sure, I will. And then she cannot help herself. Yeah, she competes the all the way to the end, mm -hmm. which maybe is telling for the very end. Are we going for it? Are I think we, we should there? go for yeah. it. Do we think Dottie threw the game? Yeah, did Dottie throw the game? That's the big what if. Mm -hmm. So to oh, set the yeah. stage, final game, sisters battling each other. Yes. They really <laughs> pair off. It's like 
final batter is Dottie, right? No. no is Kit. Mm-hmm. And Dottie, it's... like, goes and gives advice to the pitcher on how to get her out. Yep. Mm-hmm. But doesn't work out because yeah. she gets a hit anyway. Yeah. And then she goes all the way around the bases and is going to hit. <sighs> like a... I feel like Beth describing a movie. <laughs> <laughs> gonna run into the catcher, which that's weird. That the baseball is a very un like it's there's not a lot of contact in Ooh, it. Disagree. Mm-hmm. Except that one moment where they like run into each other every time. Right. Mm-hmm. Right. I don't know. Yeah, it's part of the game. Mm-hmm. Well, I mean, I think that's part of also part of why she threw the game. It's because you've seen her multiple times get hit by the runner, and yeah. she never drops it. Yeah. She mm-hmm. always has. The, she would always have the ball in her glove too, not in her like hand, mm-hmm. in her right hand. And so when she falls over, she has the ball in her right hand, and then she drops it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so, you don't yeah. think she just got clocked so hard? No, she got I her don't. bell rung. It could have been so shocking. That's true. Kit's like not even close. She's not even half her size. But though. she's got that younger sibling rage. Oh, yeah. that's true. <laughs> see so often. Yeah. I yeah. just. I remember it being much more clear. Like I felt like it would it cut to her face or something, like Gina oh. Davis's face, and you can see it like in her eyes, like she's gonna, yeah, <laughs> like she's gonna just throw the game. But it doesn't. It just shows her hand on the ground. Yeah. Oh, okay. No, what? Uh. You know, it's fine. I'll, I'll, we can keep talking about this. Like, you just remind me of something I totally forgot about of this movie that I now is like my favorite part of the movie. Oh, okay. But we should. We have to confirm, like, what we think. You know what? Yeah, and I think it was hard for her because I think she is super competitive, but I think she loved her sister more. So, yeah, I think she threw it. She threw it? Well, that was, like, that was kind of her whole, Dottie's whole deal was, like, people kept trying to call her on her shit about, Mm -hmm. like, you do care about this stuff. And Mm -hmm. she's like, no, whatever. I I have Bob. I I don't have kids. I Mm -hmm. I don't know. Just, I can go home anytime. And then she, then Tom Hanks proves her wrong. Yep. And then... Kit kind of proves her wrong, and then she proves herself wrong. Yeah, and, I don't but know. But she loves, but ultimately she loves her sister more than the other stuff that she realized she also loved. Yeah. Except Bob. She probably loves Bob just as much in a different way. Yeah. Yes. And I will say the the line that really killed me, that actually did get to me, was at the end when the two sisters are talking. After the game? After the game. Mm-hmm. And um, they they at some point they hug each other, and at some point Kit says to Dottie, um, now that I finally want you with me, you're leaving. Ooh. Yeah. That's, that was hard. Oof. So that was beautiful. Uh, anyway. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. what Did, 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 did y'all want to weigh in? What do you think? I, I think she threw the game. You think she did? Mm-hmm. I don't think she threw okay. the game. Do you actually think that or you just not care? <laughs> <laughs> I you're... don't care. I appreciate that I think it was... Uh, from a filmmaking perspective, they intentionally tried to make it ambiguous. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So I appreciate that. Like Inception. Yeah. yeah. I guess I don't care. Okay. Yeah. I, I, not in like a, uh, fuck yeah. this, Blah. but like I, I like that it's ambiguous. Yeah, I like too. that we don't know. For yeah. sure. Beth? Oh, I think she threw it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. For sure. I think, yeah, ultimately she loved, she loves her sister more than she loves I guess the team that sure. was what well, she had to make a decision about. And also, about. she, I mean, even though she played in the last game, like she still knew she wasn't coming back. Yeah, you know what I mean. Like she knew she wasn't coming Why back to the league. She come back though because Bob it was 1945. He said to somebody in the stands, "That's my wife." She wanted to live her domestic life, which, as Tom Hanks even says, Cad Hanks even says, "I who am I to tell anyone what to do with their lives?" Yeah, it's Raising. her choice. Her choice. Children is also a legitimate choice. Yes. It is, but you have time for that. Does You've she? You've only Does got she? so much time to Does play. She? Maybe she'll get. Uh, what get disease do people die of in the 50s? I don't know. <laughs> Maybe she'll get seven of her friends killed by a sniper. Oh, that was brutal. <laughs> but also, like, <laughs> so true. Like, that yeah. is absolutely how those conversations are. Just like, oh, yeah, the, everybody else got shot and I'm still alive. And, like, you just dealt with that for 70 years and then. Like decades of suppressed trauma have created the America we live in today. <laughs> wow. Ugh. We are Way talking, to go, of course, Bob. About Dottie's husband, Bob. Bob. Go to Come therapy, stop. Bob. Yeah. Otherwise, you're going to oh, ruin the country. Can't go to therapy. With your uh, tie tucked into your shirt, Bill Pullman. What? Yeah. He had his tie tucked into his shirt. Why I thought it? that was the style. That's like, like a, a service soldier. Thing. Yeah, that's like a service. Was he in his uniform? Yeah. That's a thing. 
Why? Then why wear the tie? Because you're still supposed to wear a tie because you're a gentleman. Yeah. You're a gentleman, but you're you wearing can't a tie. Have flap it that right. tie. That's what I say. The flap military the is about precision, not flappy clothes. <laughs> well, then take the tie off. <laughs> you can't take the tie off because you're a gentleman. Then you have just loose buttons. What? Like, are you some kind of hoodlum? Some sort of gadabout? Ooh, yeah, like gadabout. <laughs> yeah, gadabout. Well, color me a gadabout. Ooh. I, so I say, if you're wearing a tie, wear it out. Okay. Well, if you're. Yeah. Tweet just... at me, tie heads. Okay, Come at me. Here's a question, though. The, but what about like a tie clip? Ooh. Doesn't that like That's hold fine. it close to your body? Yeah. But he's saying just don't tuck it in. But you can still see the whole so, tie. Yeah. The whole tie's there. You're not hiding the tie. I mean, they just picked a uniform, and that was part of the uniform. You tucked it. That was just the thing. You well, tucked then the they, tie in. P- they picked poorly. All right. Oh, jeez. Sure. I don't know. What about, I mean, like a bunch of other uniforms had just a bunch of crazy ropes and shit on them over the <laughs> yeah, centuries. Yeah, I like the crazy You're ropes. You're okay with the ropes, but tucking yeah. in one tie what? is too much? Ropes don't even belong in clothes. Yeah, well, they're why? not hiding the ropes. <laughs> <laughs> they're hiding the tie. They're not hiding the tie. It's still it's there. tucked into the shirt. <laughs> <laughs> it just turned into sight. <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, Bill Pullman's in it for like 10 seconds. He yeah. does fine. He he's does so fine. handsome. He's a handsome young man. Yeah. yeah. But also, if I had my druthers, I still say the rugged sensuality of Cad Hanks was a little spicier. Oh, yeah. Let's oh. talk about that potential hypothetical love story. Yeah. I don't I, think I'm she's worried. interested in, in him at all. Yeah, I agree. I think if she did have a tiny spark of interest, it was extinguished when he mentioned he'd already been married twice before. Mm-hmm. Mm. And one was a child. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> yeah, I, I think that was metaphorical. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I hope but it was, was metaphorical. I mean, he was probably also For like seventeen or yeah. something. Yeah. yeah, but I, I really liked it. I liked their relationship. Yeah, me like, too. There's, I think there's a very real moment where he's like, he finds out I Bob, and he's kind of like, oh, maybe, hey, I like this lady, but then he like, he's, backs for, off I mean, right he's, he's like, definitely into her. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. Mm-hmm. but he also is like not a creep about it. No. Mm-hmm. Once he's like, oh, she's got a husband. Yeah. He's cool. For well, as also, gross as he well, is, he's not like. It's true. I think he holds out hope that maybe Bob will be terrible. And yes. then he finally meets him and he's a nice guy. Yeah. He's truly there is 100% that one, defeated. Yeah, yeah. There is that moment where he actually meets him. He's just like, oh, shit. Dang. You're like this handsome, clean cut. Very nice person. Very nice man. Oh. Yeah. But then he like is fine. He's yeah. not like toxic about it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Because sure. ultimately their relationship is a mutual love of the game. Yeah. The love of the game. Yep. There's no time for that other stuff when but you've got I the World Series to win. I appreciated a nice, strong, platonic relationship between a man and the woman in the 40s. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I would take one right now. But also, I'm just saying... I actually can't think. Can anyone think of a movie that's come out recently? <laughs> oh. That is <laughs> not gravity. Think, think of a male friend that I have. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it's very uh, rare. A mo- but a I movie? mean, I guess I, like Gravity, maybe. But yeah. that was, Where was just a lot of mansplaining. A uh, George mm-hmm. Clooney and Sandra Bullock. But wasn't he a ghost? Yeah, well, and he was half. like, so and he was sucks. more just like. <laughs> I don't even feel like they had that though, because he even when he was on oh, screen, he was shitty to her. He was well, he was just a cocky astronaut man. Yeah. Like he, they weren't, they were coworkers. I guess I'm just trying to think of like I don't know, maybe Disney and. The woman who wrote Mary Poppins? Like, I really can't think of a peer. Wait, Walt Disney bond. and the writer of Mary Poppins? Is yeah, what are you talking about? That was a movie. <laughs> what? Oh, it was. It was? Movie. Because Bert get... and Mary? I oh, think... it also had Tom Hanks. That's I think Bert and Mary had a thing. What are we talking Bert about? Bert and Mary from Mary what? Poppins? Yeah. You think, like, the last time she came through? Yeah. 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 When they were younger? Yeah. When they were younger? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh. I think that's why, yeah, I think that's why. I don't know if they'd be banging, but they definitely. Someone got their chimney swap. Come on. Come Hell on. Yeah. Yes. 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 Oh, yes. They sweep. Come on. Tweet at us if you think Mary Poppins and Bert, yeah. Bert the Chimney Sweep, be banged. Uh, if you think they did, hashtag swept. <laughs> if you think they didn't, I don't know. Just don't whatever. tweet at us. I mean, it would be magical. Okay, never mind. You're thinking of like, where is there like a platonic? A strong platonic bond between a man and a woman that doesn't get romantic, and that's not the core of it. I feel like I saw something. Yeah, I'm trying to think because it definitely happens every once in a while, and it's very refreshing. Yeah, I guess Mulder and 
No. No, no they have weird stuff. They be bang. Sexual tension. They bang. Now, it, like the oh, it, the remake. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Mm. I think I didn't watch it. Who cares? I wanted. Uh, I remember feeling that disappointment with Lost in Translation. Mm. Or it seemed like it was going to be that way. Then oh, they sure. have a big kiss at the end or something. It's like, ah. I used some like whisper in the ear thing. Yeah. I thought they had a big smooch too. I think he, I think he just, I don't remember if they actually smooch. But it gets, I don't know. it becomes clear that there's something romantic. Yeah. In it. Sure. Well, anyway. That movie's like 15 years old. Right. But I'm saying like, I you can have, I think that there was a slight spark between them in the sense that they were like two people of a similar age hot-blooded americans hot-blooded americans who were both pretty lonely and mm-hmm. isolated because their own lives were like so you know just in the wind because of circumstance totally yeah. different circumstances obviously mm-hmm. because tom hanks was in a prison of his own design yeah. um They're around all that wood <laughs> the what that wood They're around ah. all the wood oh yeah. they're around yeah and balls yeah what? What are you? I'm just saying. All I'm trying to say <laughs> is I don't think Wait, Gina I'm Davis. Wait, I'm really not getting it. Dan saying that there were phallic symbols <laughs> everywhere. <laughs> oh, come okay. on. Swapped. Uh, out. Hashtag swapped. I'm just saying. I agree that Gina Davis was not actively into him, <laughs> but I think there was enough. There was something like, and they think she played it well. Where like there was enough of an attraction there, mm-hmm. where she was sort of like, I will at least like appreciate his company. Yeah. Yeah. You know. Which is, there is a little, but there is a difference between that and just them being like professional peers in a setting. That's true. Like, I feel like there was a little more to their dynamic than just like, oh, we both like baseball. (laughs) Yeah, no, no. There was just a lot of mutual respect. Yeah. 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 Well, I mean, I felt, I don't know. I felt like they had more of a friendship than a a work relationship. Mm -hmm. Sure. Yeah, I don't. All I'm trying to say is, I think Gina Davis was at least attracted to him. Yeah, that's all I'm trying to say. No, I think so, and I think there was some what if happening. Yes, because had she not been married to Bob, well, and she didn't know what was going to happen. Bob could be killed at any time. My God, and she's emotionally distraught, and her sister's too busy making friends with Madonna, getting her nails painted (laughs) in the back of the bus. Oh, that's right. Ooh, real talk, bus. Yeah, we should talk about that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that I loved that whole scene where it was just like. They just would go to different parts of the bus and everyone was just having these moments of like bonding mm-hmm. and connection. Rosie O'Donnell is empowered. Yeah. Because mm-hmm. she's like, oh, I'm with this weird unibrowed schlub because all the other guys were didn't even look at me or whatever. But mm-hmm. then she's like, no, we're all great. And she tears up the picture and throws it out the bus window. It's a great scene. And then Evelyn is writing a song on her ukulele, mm-hmm. which then becomes the Amer- All American Girls <laughs> Baseball League theme mm-hmm. chant. <laughs> What's the word I'm looking for? Song? Theme. Uh, oh, you know, it's not there... like a jingle. It's a rally it's like song. A... Yeah. Rally. Anthem. Thank Anthem. you. Yes. That's probably what I meant. It does whatever. And what's her name's learning reading to read. with dirty novels? Oh, oh, she was so adorable. So the girl great. who couldn't read. She was only in like three scenes, but she crushed it. Absolutely. Yeah. Oh my god. That scene where she can't read her own name on the, the oh. lineup was heartbreaking. Yeah. It is heartbreaking. But then also Incredible. hashtag female friendship. Mm-hmm. Uh lady who we think is a Cusack <laughs> came oh, up to help yeah. her. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, maybe Cusack's great. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Anne? Anne. I think so. I assume it was her because she mm-hmm. looked kind of like Joan. Which sibling is she? Ooh, great question. Mm-hmm. I don't I'm know. guessing youngest. What if they're not even, what if they're like cousins or something? Oh. Or Cousin Cusack. Cusack uh, cousins. Cusins. Cusins. <laughs> nope. What? Doesn't work. Kissing Cusacks. Kissing Cusins. Kissing Cusins, but it didn't really work. Oh, I just remembered for the second time the thing <laughs> <laughs> that I love because it was the Cusack who did it. There's a great point when they first get the league going. They have the 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 uh, on the home front reel, yeah. right? Oh, and there's yeah. these like very staged moments between the team members and the Cusack character. She's like, oh, she's also an accomplished <laughs> coffee, whatever. And she's like very awkwardly pouring coffee into the umpire's cups, and then looks directly at the camera <laughs> and just mouths coffee. Yeah. <laughs> oh my it was god. Hilarious. That was the biggest. That was of the movie. Maybe. That was my almost. That was my second favorite moment in the entire movie. <laughs> she had another really good laugh line after the big sister tension fight, where she just comes oh, yeah. in, doesn't know what's going on. I was like, "Anybody see my, my red, red hat?" hat? <laughs> and Gina Davis is. I don't know. She says you something terse. Stuck your red yeah. hat. Yeah. A little terse. Just on your hat. Oh, yeah. Yeah. that was uncalled for. Yeah. Yeah. She was great. They were all great. 
Yeah. All the ladies. We haven't even talked about your favorite. Oh, yeah. Marla Hooch. Hooch. Yes. Played by Megan... Kavanaugh. Kavanaugh. Can't read my writing. The she was great. incredible. Quote Beginning unquote, to end. Ugly one. Right. Yeah. yeah. I feel like... I mean, I don't feel like anyone is really ugly mm -hmm. because Ooh, beauty's on right. the inside. No, but I here. also don't think... <laughs> I don't like everyone's like repulsed by her when they oh, see yeah. her. I'm like she's not like sh she I think I think she's like interesting looking. She you know was, what I mean? Like and, in not a bad way. Yeah. yeah. She gets reactions like she's the elephant man. Yeah. Right. It's weird cuz she's not even like even when you talk about like, you know, quote like Hollywood ugly, like she's not even like weird enough looking to really be like cons you know what I mean? Like that's not the person you would think to go to. Like we need someone who's supposed to be weird looking yeah. like she's not even that weird looking like but you I, said yeah like she just maybe sort of like just the pure lack of effort was so shocking in the 40s sure i guess that's yeah. true yeah she was yeah, she was raised was, as a boy oh, her poor dad oh, who's like dad. trying to be kind of i mean accidentally progressive and is just sort of like letting her be whoever she wants to be he, yeah. he is but also the way he talks about the way it is like very hey, problematic man, he's an old man in the 40s he he's doesn't just, know how to frame he's it he's probably got to pee real bad and someone <laughs> turned him away from a restaurant doing his best you he know is doing his he's best. doing his best some good dads in this movie oh yeah rosie o'donnell's dad oh just came out of nowhere it's like oh my daughter's here i'm gonna buy her a steak I'm best dinner. player on the team <laughs> yeah oh yeah okay rosie o'donnell her Staten Island Steve yeah, her team like because all the regional teams were like yeah they were like sponsored by various groups and hers jersey was the Staten Island Stevedores and I just got obsessed with the idea of her like we're actually working on the docks <laughs> we got a whole crate full of harmonicas yeah. coming in <laughs> is that what a stevedore is yes oh, yeah. oh. they unload the docks they do watch the know. wire season two yeah. that's oh. where I learned it me too that's where most <gasps> Middle Friends. class white people learned what a stevedore <laughs> was. Um, I want to talk about the montage of this movie because they're really good. Yeah, oh. yeah. And I are. want they're great. Whoever made Look Who's Talking to watch this yeah, movie. Thank you. <laughs> yes. And learn how a montage hey, works. Hey, person who made Look Who's Talking. Yeah. yeah. Whose name yeah. was something? Hecker Lane. Hecker Lane. Oh. oh well, we love Hecker Lane. Okay. Okay. The editor of Look yeah. Who's Talking. Yeah. 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 Watch this movie. Learn something. This is how a montage yeah. goes. It's yeah. the Joe De Montagio yeah. of movies. Go ahead. How does it go? <laughs> oh wait, no, no. But I just it. like that was actually right. really good. Yeah. Yeah. I forgot, we're, great. I forgot it was a baseball movie. It. Was really <laughs> I forgot good. it was a baseball movie. I thought she was just making a weird montage. You forgot run. that it was a baseball <laughs> movie. I'm, off, I'm talking about a league of their own. I'm talking baseball. But yeah, there's huge long montages. Yes. There's a couple, but there's a really long one in the middle where they're just like, we're playing baseball. Yeah, and the zippy but Hans also being Zimmer friends. Music. Yeah. Mm. And like they just cover a lot of territory. Of yeah. Like, we're playing baseball. Cover a lot of bases. Wow. We're being friends. <laughs> Tom Hanks is getting sober. And like they move between the sort of music overlay montage and like quick little vignettes of scenes. It's mm -hmm. just it's beautiful. Done beautifully. Yeah, it's great. And like the dumb kids in there doing <laughs> dumb kid stuff. What's oh, still, yeah. Still, 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 oh still well, Angel. Still water. Still well. Still well. Still well, <laughs> Angel. I think she just called him that. Who's basically. Or is her name Evelyn Angel? Oh. I don't know. I don't know. At the end, they only called him Stillwell Angel. So she I don't Chris know if that Angels? was like his two first <laughs> yes. names. Grand, yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. Uh, but he's basically Augustus oh Gloop God. from Willy Wonka. <laughs> Willy Wonka. <laughs> he's like, we meet him in a little sailor outfit. Like it's covered in chocolate. Like comically covered in yeah. chocolate. And like, uh, that's how they get him to behave. Like, I've got a chocolate yeah. bar. And he like stops in his tracks. And he's the reason Lou quits because he covers his eyes and nearly kills them all. Yeah. Because yeah. the bus starts swerving. I mean, I was kind of with Lou on that part. Right? Yeah. yeah. And I was also kind of with Madonna. Down. Like, I'm going to oh, beat yeah. your kid to death with this baseball. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But also, like, just break hard. Yeah. What? Yeah, oh, like Lou? Yeah. 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 You know, he's in a bus full Marshall of women. Touch. He doesn't oh, know. Yeah. Well, these uh, women are going to come up here. I'm used just, to driving real men around, but all the, me, all the men bus passengers are in the war. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and I used to kids on the bus. Uh, I have a friend who toured with a band. Okay. I think it might have been the Indigo Girls, but I'm not sure. Okay. And, Let's just go with that. Yeah, we'll just say it's them. <laughs> and someone who was uh, one of the band members not like you know like the backup band yeah um had a two or three year old like it's um who uh, they had to travel with mm -hmm. and they're like yeah sure we're progressive cool amazingly awesome group 
of course you can assuming do that. Assuming it's the Indigo Girls. We're and just assuming. I was assuming. <laughs> and um, they were driving through, um, I think, one of the Dakotas. I'm not sure. A very rural area. And they pulled over at a stop, and everybody got out and got some lunch. And when they went to get back in the bus, the keys weren't there. And apparently this child loved Ugh. to play with keys no. and had somehow gotten a hold of the keys. Because I guess you just leave them in the bus when you go in, sure. especially in a very small town. They were out in the middle of nowhere somewhere. And so they had to just camp out and wait. They had to call, like, find, like, some commercial grade of oh, AAA no. to come out. Quadruple A. Quadruple A. <laughs> Single A. How do the A's work? This is a baseball episode. Oh, yeah. yeah. Gonna, like, batteries? I think it goes less. Yeah. yeah. Like, yes. The less A is the better. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. You just want one right? A. A plus. A max. Ooh. You want A. Uh, at any rate, they had to call That's quadruple rough, A plus man. to be able to get that bus Did back. Because the kid had taken him and just, just chucked like, him? The kid had taken him and just run around with him and dropped him somewhere. They just lost him. Oh, just lost. Out at the rest stop. I mean, I suppose if you had a metal detector on the bus, you could find them. Yeah, but who's going to carry I bet that yeah. kid got blamed and really it was the Indigo Girls rival band <laughs> got onto the bus took the, the keys oh my god and hid them the violet yeah. boys yes the violet <laughs> boys came it's like hey kid <laughs> we play folksy male positive <laughs> music wow 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 uh, i love it anyway i don't know if any of that's true i was wrong about the entire first half of this podcast sure but now you're talking about like someone you know like a yeah. story like someone a... told you. <laughs> you know, I guess he didn't have baseball structure. No. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Let's. Which we tried to figure out and it's, couldn't, it's and it so just confusing. doesn't matter. It's, hey, it's, it's, way I don't back. think it's that confusing. It's just old. I mean, it's yeah, over it's a old. century old, so it's hard to know like what but matters there were, like, anymore. Two professional leagues: National American League, and yeah. then they, in the early 1900s, 1903, uh, became. The Major League Baseball. They yes. started playing each other. Yeah. World Series happened. Yeah. 19... Something. Oh seven or maybe 11. Probably. I yeah. don't know. One of those years. It's one of those. Some of the time. It's old. It is old. It's America's past time. It is America's past so time. So America's like way in the past time. Yeah. 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 And current time. Sure. Oh. Mm -hmm. Can we talk about Stillwell and Tom Hanks' relationship? Oh, oh so yeah. good. Yes. Oh, my God. Every time he shouted at that kid. I was just so <laughs> delighted. Oh, and, and then, then there's the yeah. Go ahead. It led to my favorite scene in the whole movie. Second favorite, the Cusack lady mouth in the word coffee. Yeah. <laughs> Ultimate all-time favorite moment of this movie is right at the end of the World Series. Tom Hanks is fully sober. He's probably like twitchy and just wanting to win. <laughs> Kids being a snot, saying he's gonna lose. Tom Hanks just picks up a baseball glove, hucks it. <laughs> right at his face and nails him. Yeah. Yeah. And it's amazing. The kid crushes it yeah. in terms yeah. of yeah, getting does. hit with a mid and right? falling down. <laughs> oh, so yes. good. He's so good. So I was good. like, how did how, how did he act that well? Yeah. Did yeah. he really get hit? I, I mean, I guess more he like act did. well. Ah. Yeah. What is his name? What is his name? Still. Well, it's now act well yeah. in Angel. Stangle. But it was still well. What? Still well. what? Stangle? Yeah, I was moving Oh, still well Angel in the outfield. Sorry, I just figured that out. <laughs> <With> that. <laughs> Do you think, yeah. I mean, in my heart of hearts, I want to believe Tom Hanks just improvised throwing the glove at him. <laughs> but that seems cruel. Yeah. So let's say the kid's just great. I mean, yeah. he could have, but they had they shot that. Yeah, from a couple different angles. Yeah, couple so, different angles, so. so maybe he improvised throwing it at the kid, and then yeah. Penny Marsh was like, whoa, 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 yeah. whoa, whoa, yeah. whoa. And then somebody Let's... just kind of gently tossed a very right. soft glove yeah. at his mm -hmm. face. And then but then he, up the footage. He kind of like rolls his eyes yeah. and then falls well, over. And he it's, very, really, it's very He did funny. a really good job of having that just like moment, that first moment of just like incredulous, like, yeah. I can't believe that actually happened, <laughs> and then falls yeah. over. You know? Yeah, I love that moment of decision that kids have. <sighs> Where they're trying to determine if they're going to have a full-on tantrum or not. Yeah. And he was, I mean, again, like, this is kind of those moments that's, like, very cartoonish of the movie. Like, he was so ridiculously annoying. Like, where they would just, like, there was literally a, a scene in part of the montage where he's just pacing back and forth in the dugout with a little bugle. <laughs> like yeah. during a game he's just like no wonder tom hanks threw a glove at him and like, it was worked into the score of the movie right hans zimmer it zimming was, it yes. zimming it up he zimmed it up a lot of horns a lot of horns a lot of horns, lot of horns. Mm -hmm. sometimes the music was so epic and sweeping especially during the montages yes 
but you never were at a loss for how to feel. No. I felt my feelings were fully supported. Did throughout. you feel it was thick though? Sometimes it got a little thick. A little thick? Sometimes. Yeah. Not yeah. as thick. I though. mean, Thick Williams thick. is still was, the thickest. Oh, yeah. for sure. <laughs> but Hans Zimmer is yeah. pretty thick too. Just, you know, a bit. But I didn't notice it so often. No. Mm-hmm. I feel like for the most part he did okay. You know what I did notice mm. was that weird Madonna song at the end. <laughs> oh, yeah. That was Beth. a little yeah, tonally off putting. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, real slow jam. Real slow, like and a then, dirge. It, yeah, and it was like, it, it's being played over all of the the women who have come to the um, baseball hall of fame because they opened up like a a branch, I guess. Sure. What would that be? Um, lady wing. Bit? Yeah. Yeah. A wing. The lady yeah. wing. Yeah. Um, about like women in baseball, and so then they're playing what seems to be a pickup baseball game. Yeah. Or something like that. They're just for the love of the game. Yeah, and um. The lyrics are like, this used to be my playground. Yeah. And like... Yeah, I feel like the lyrics are fine. I feel like the minor key and the pace of the song... Right. Really just make you feel like it's an in memoriam. Yeah. Yeah. It feels as if this, she wrote the song for uh, Field of Dreams, where yeah. all of the baseball players are ghosts. <laughs> yeah. And she thought like, oh, yeah. this, is a ce- this is a scene where a bunch of ghosts are playing baseball... I'll write a song about death and sadness Mm -hmm. and like the passage of time when the footage, the visual footage seems to be more like, isn't this great that these women still have this bond after all these years? Mm -hmm. Hashtag for the love of the game. And it's just such a weird, like tonal. Yeah. It felt really like, yeah. I mean, I guess it kind of is like the feeling at the end of the movie is kind of sad because (laughs) half of the people are dead. Right. And it's not like, uh, there, it's not like the league continued, continued yeah. up to that time. Mm-hmm. Yes, um, but yeah, but there, it did seem more like <laughs> a joyous o- occasion, like yeah. of them playing the game. And it was like I was honestly very impressed by all of the people playing baseball okay. because I think yeah. they right? legit were playing baseball and they were like running hard and yeah. maybe like in their sixties. Yeah, those yeah. some of those women like they still could throw some heaters. Yeah, yeah, and also it was weird that they got. Different old people to play, but then dubbed their voices. It was only Gina Davis's, right? I think everybody's voice was dubbed. Were, was really? Rosie O'Donnell's voice dubbed? Shit didn't sound like Rosie O'Donnell. I guess O'Donnell. maybe not. Mm-mm. But it was definitely, unless that woman's voice sounds the, exactly yeah. like unless Gina Davis. the casting possible. agent is the best in the biz. It's possible. And Penny Marshall was just like, get, I don't remember what she sounds like. She also kind of talks to Carrie Marshall, obviously. <laughs> like, just get me an old Gina Davis. <laughs> and the casting agent's like, all right, done. Just, yeah. Well, I mean, whoever the casting agent did, mm-hmm. did a good job because for a long time we were trying to decide was, whether yeah. if she was another actor or Gina Davis wearing like old person makeup. Yes. Mm-hmm. I am glad they took the route they did. Cause I feel like it would have been too distracting to put all of those women in old people makeup. Yeah. And then have them play baseball. <laughs> Just in general. I mean that too. I mean, that would certainly be distracting. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it would. I feel like it just would have been weird. Mm-hmm. I wonder if any of those people actually were the people oh, who were in I the hope league. So. Oh, I thought so at the end. I assumed that was what was happening. That'd be kind of cool. Yeah. Yeah. There I had go. to really. Hey, Hulu. Hey. Hulu. If anyone works there, cool it. Okay. We wanted to watch the credits of this <laughs> oh, movie. Oh, yeah. That was weird. <laughs> yeah. I but would specifically... like to watch the credits. There's a lot happening. And, and, and Hulu, like every four seconds. <laughs> yeah. It, would put up the screen that's like, clearly you want to move on. And guess what they want us to move on to? Stuart Little. Two. 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 <laughs> that's what was so confusing. And it wasn't even like, it wasn't even like, oh, if you like this, you like this. Like literally in the corner, there was a text that said, up next, Stuart Little 2. Why, Why the second one? <laughs> Why would you go to the second one first? You just watched a leader. Stuart Little own. 1 was right next to yeah. Stuart Little 2 on the screen. Yeah. Maybe I that one's know. got more baseball in it. Oh, maybe. Oh. Maybe the whole maybe the whole plot is <gasps> Tiny like baseball. maybe the whole plot is like oh, all the women and men are in war. Mouse baseball. <laughs> That's the ticket. Yeah, yeah. I oh, would watch mouse baseball. By okay. the way. Okay, Hollywood, are you listening? We want <laughs> a League of Two Zone uh-huh. or whatever. A, a, I think a League of Two Zone. Two is... League of Two. Okay, a League of Two Zone is Madonna and Rosie O'Donnell, right? Yeah. Okay. Be, just being friends, going to baseball, having a great time. Like Maybe traveling to Israel in two thousand, whatever. Seven. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. And they can play baseball in Israel. Two leagues, two zones. Two leagues, two zones. <laughs> Gina Davis is, I guess, the age she is now. 
She's a drunk. She pees in a sink? Yeah. She yeah. pees in a sink. All the women. <laughs> All the women are going to, to war. war. <laughs> Women's World War. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Oh. And now the men have to play baseball yes. because women have been playing baseball up to that point. Yes, it's an alternate timeline. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And she's got to come back and get all the hot men to play baseball. And they have to wear, like, banana hammocks. Yes, exactly. Exactly. It's like, I can't slide in that. Yeah. Oh, Che Tates is definitely Chay in this Tates movie. Is oh. Definitely in yeah. this movie. He is all the way May. Yeah. All the way Che. Yeah, all, all the way Che. Che, <laughs> che is an attitude. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> or you can just play Magic Mike again, except playing baseball, I guess. Yeah, Magic Baseball. <laughs> magic Baseball. <laughs> two leagues, two zone, colon, <laughs> Magic Baseball. It's bringing both franchises together. Yeah, it's a crossover. Yeah. Okay, but what about the mouse oh, one? Oh, <laughs> okay. Also that one. Yeah. I don't know. Just Mouse Baseball? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's just called Mouse Baseball. Mouse Baseball. Mouse baseball. <laughs> Oh, but there's a cat who wants to play, and they're like, "You can't play because oh, you're our enemies." No, it's just like, but, but really, it's like a really small it's cat. A really small that's cat. like she doesn't fit in with the cats. Yeah. she doesn't oh. fit in with the mice. Yeah. Speaking of those not let in, we should oh, talk about the yes. one scene <gasps> acknowledging yes. racism in the movie. Yeah. That yeah. was strange, but also like kind of necessary. I yeah, think it was. I wish right? there was. More I think it was good. Yeah. So there's one <laughs> scene where they're like practicing, yeah. and like the ball rolls away, and there's a uh, group of. Uh, African American women who are like just watching, hanging out, I guess. Yeah. And they throw the ball back, and the lady is unexpectedly good at throwing Crushes the baseball. It. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, and I liked it. I thought it was a good scene of like acknowledging, like, hey, it's hard for these white women. Oh, not as hard as it is <laughs> yeah. for other people. Yeah. yeah. Guess who's really having a hard time yeah. in the 40s? Guess who can't even watch the game? It was also, yeah, yeah it was also yeah. like uh, probably just a general acknowledgement. Just like, oh, hey, remember how baseball. Only had white people for a long time. Yeah. 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 So, real long time. Mm. The only reason I say it's strange is because it felt like it was just like covered it. Yeah. Like, you know what I mean? It was just like yeah. a very brief scene. Yeah. But also like if they hadn't covered it, some critic would have been like, oh, they were just not even going to acknowledge that yeah. at all. Yeah. You yeah. can't win. I don't know if they did. They did. An, um, yeah. I think they tried for that poignancy. Yes. I think they tried to be like, this is just the barest. Because it would have been. Yeah, because it would have been like too much if Gina Davis had like went over and been like, "Hey, how come you didn't try out?" And she like, yeah. "Let me explain to you why I didn't Let try out because you. slavery." Yeah. <laughs> Ooh. But yes, anyway. I mean it was jarring, but I guess in the right way. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> like it was appropriately jarring. Yes, yeah. yeah. So that was a scene. <laughs> oh. <laughs> um, <clears throat> MVPs. My number one MVP. <sighs> Is who I refer to as Denim Cowboy. <laughs> okay, I'm listening. Um, at yeah. a train stop where they pick up uh, mm-hmm. Hooch, I think. Yeah. yeah. They're yes. all getting on the train, and there's just oh, like, yeah. there's a guy, you know, there's two guys on the bench in the cowboy just hats. Just in the background. One's leaning over, and you're like, what is he doing? And then you see he's trying to strike a match on the bench, yeah, yeah. but he like doesn't get it, and he like really plays up like, man, this old match didn't go off well. And he's yeah. like all in denim. Yeah. Tosses denim the match shirt, away. Jeans. Yeah. I love yeah, it. I get crushes. I want to see those two cowboys story. Mm-hmm. Scene stealer. Yeah. yeah. He was so good. Because like, yeah, like at first you're just thrown off because he was sitting in such a weird posture because you mm-hmm. couldn't actually see what he was doing with his hands at first because yeah. John Lovitz couldn't get out of the way. Yeah. yeah. Uh, but yeah, then I don't know. And you got to wonder, like, how much was he even told to do? You know what yeah. I mean? Yeah. That's It's one of those background characters where you're like, was his job just to sit on the bench and maybe <laughs> smoke? And he just went for it? Oh, man. Ooh, I hope so. One of my MVPs uh, was the, not the, okay, so they give you all kinds of context. Like, they'll do newsreels and that kind of thing to kind of yeah. set the stage. Yeah. And one of the ways that they... Um, sort of set the popular culture stage as they cut to a uh, a radio broadcast with an older proper lady giving her editorial Social reading off of the yes. yes and she's basically explaining that women playing baseball is the beginning of the end mm-hmm. um, and I really appreciated her but what I loved even more about that scene in that moment is that there were three other identical oh, ladies yeah. oh, seated yeah. behind her yeah. waiting for their chance to give social commentary. <laughs> uh, and I would just love to know what was on their cards. Like, I'm sure it was like essentially the same thing, but yeah. I thought they were terrific. Or it was like, ladies, remember to toss your hose into the collection barrels for our boys across oh, the- yeah. or whatever. Yeah. Yeah, she was great. 
They probably were not happy about that dancing that we saw in the oh, saloon. Oh. Dirty oh. dancing. It you was want a to talk about the dance rules? Sure. I do want to talk about the dance rules because those are also, I mean, one of the, that is definitely sort of just like a group MVP. Oh, right, because they go to Suds Bucket? Suds Bucket. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Great day for a saloon. Which they sneak out by poisoning the chaperone. Yeah, it's that like a poor dance lady. Hall. Poor sure. Mrs. Whatever. I mean, a saloon, they're going to picture like a Western or something. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so there's this long. I just don't want to fight have about you it. Checked out? Hashtag. Are you okay? What are Dan and Molly fighting about? <laughs> oh yeah, I'm not gonna fight either of us. Oh, um, no. There's this great scene. Like, once they get the suds bucket, there's this great sequence where like all the way May is just kicking ass. She's swinging, dance, swing dancing yeah. like crazy. Like, yeah, she is that a is great. Ten swing fun. Dancing. That is what I wanted Dirty Dancing to be. It's more like that. That kind of crazy oh. swing. Yeah. She's going nuts. She's, you know, jumping between dance partners. And, like, there's this point where she's kind of like two main dudes. Like, just like a regular shirt guy and then a a soldier. Like, a guy who's uh, in his uniform. And they're kind of, like, getting clearly getting frustrated in more ways than one, if you know what I mean. I do know Uh, that. (laughs) (laughs) uh, Going, like, with her going between them. And the civilian, like, he kind of seems to... Like, win, like, in the sense that, like, the other guy kind of goes, like, man, kind of, like, just walks off frame, and they're just dancing. Uh, no, May makes a conscious choice. Yeah. It's a very There's specific like a part where moment. She's like, she looks right, then she looks left, then she looks right, and then she's like, oh, I want this guy, and then she starts dancing with the civilian. Yeah. Okay, well, then this actually makes my question, I have, this, like, accentuates my question mm-hmm. I'm about to ask then, because she dances with him, finishes the dance, she kind of goes off to uh, hug, uh... Rosie O'Donnell. O'Donnell. And then uniform guy comes out of nowhere, leapfrogs over the civilian, yeah. and then cut to May's making out with the soldier. Yep. Yeah. The one she didn't choose during the dance. Mm-hmm. So my question is, in the rules of, I don't know, social dance club, was that like a power move to jump <laughs> over the other guy? Like, because it like comes out of nowhere. Yeah. Like you assume he's you assume that character is done. Like mm-hmm. he has walked away. Yeah. He has gone, you know, he's like, meh, swiped, like whatever, I'm done. But then he just does a running leap and suddenly he's kissing May. Well, you know, we don't see what happens in the interim. Ooh, what do you think? I happens? think it's entirely possible that we just got a glimpse at his personality, which is that he is willing to leapfrog another dude mm-hmm. to get attention. Because she doesn't even see him do that. That's yeah, what I'm she's s- turned the other way. That's what I'm saying. So, so yeah. So I guess it could go two ways. One way is that the civilian guy realizes he's defeated because he's been leapfrogged. Yes, yes, <laughs> yes and right. just that's withdraws voluntarily. Yeah. And the other is that's just an indicator of personality, and we cut to much later in the evening. So you think that that shows that the soldier uh, is just like willing he's, to put in, like he's willing to like go forward. He's really there to heighten his charm. <laughs> Uh-huh. Yeah. Although, you know, I like the idea of like street fighting rules for yes. dance. Yeah, Thank no, you. I see what you're saying. I That's see what you're saying. Because I think probably civilian just hung his head in shame and yeah, left. Because yeah. literally, I'm just saying like if if what you're saying, because I didn't catch that, if what you're saying is true and May consciously chose the other guy, yeah. there is for, I mean, logic, like for screenplay logic, there is no reason that they kept that in other than holy shit, that guy just <laughs> leapfrogged over the civilian. Do you think it was improvised? God, I hope it is. That'd and then Penny amazing. Marshall was like, hold on. You get to kiss Madonna. <laughs> I mean, we don't know that she didn't start by kissing civilian mm-hmm. and then like when she was done with him, sure. move over to a soldier oh, boy. Sure. Yeah. She's a liberated woman. I no, and that's also a possibility, but like can we just live in a world where there's <laughs> dance rules? Where there are just dance rules. Yes. And that was just a power move that civilian didn't defend against. Yeah. If yeah. he was a, a better dancer, he would have thought to not crouch down so low yeah. and turn around yeah. to be Don't prepared back. for yeah. potential leapfroggers. Absolutely. Yeah. Always no. look out for leap. Hey, teens, <laughs> if you're out there in the club and meeting people that you are sexually attracted to, yeah. watch out for leapfroggers. Yeah. But yeah. also, women are not prizes to be won Thank in dance you. competitions. Yes. Also cool it. Get but to also know a cool person. It. But also cool it. Like yeah. just don't even have that much energy where you even feel the need to leapfrog people. Yeah. <laughs> like just talk to them. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you can dance though. It's not fine to You can dance. certainly yeah. still yeah. dance. Have a good yeah. time. Still dance. Still dance. Always dance. Also, leapfrog if it's like a 
mutual decision. Yeah. If yeah. you're just like, hey, this is going to be awesome. Yeah. yeah. Consensual leapfrog. Consensual leapfrog. Thank, Thank you. Yes. You. You're going to yeah. hurt someone with non consensual leapfrogs. Yeah. yeah. Absolutely. In more ways than one. Yeah. Their heart and their back. Yes. 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 <laughs> mm-hmm. Also, stretch first. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Soak in a hot tub like Gina Davis did before she yes. did the split. Fun behind I the scenes. I didn't even fact. think about that she actually did a split. What? I didn't even think about it. Like, it didn't register. I was so swept away in the movie that I was like, oh, Gina Davis's character did a split. Oh. But of course, obviously, Gina Davis would have to do that, or yeah. there was a stunt Unless she yeah. forgot was she was Gina Davis. Oh. oh. And then did she? Maybe. She became Dottie yeah. and then did a split. Yeah. Because Dottie can do the splits. Dottie can split. Wow. Anyway, fun fact. I was reading this because we were, while also looking up if Rosie would tell them our friends, I was trying to look up if Gina Davis and Tom Hanks are friends. <laughs> and I ended up in some article where Gina Davis was just talking about the movie because it was apparently the 25th anniversary, not this year, but maybe oh. last year. Sorry. Uh, <laughs> but apparently she like saw in the script that she was supposed to do the splits. And Penny Marshall asked her, or Penny Marshall asked if she could do it. And Gina Davis said... Just put that shot late in the production, and I'll work up to it. And then she nailed it. Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. That's incredible. That is a profesh actor mm-hmm. right there. She's great. She's I... so good. Can I just good. say, how about a cartwheel? Which might be what I would say. Yeah. But you're not Gina like, Davis. How about a tip of the hat? Yeah. How about a, I stand on one foot? Right. I would try different scenarios. Right. But Gina Davis but not just Gina Davis. No. She just says, no, let me work up to it. Yep. Dang. Because probably what happened is Penny Marshall was like, Tom said he'd do the splits. And then just walked away. <gasps> Whoa. Oh, Penny. Yeah. Hey, uh, she's a good coach. That's that's how you manage. Yeah. Play them against each other. <laughs> you know, just like in this movie. Remember how Tom Hanks played all the women against each other the <laughs> whole time? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, my is. last MVP is there's a random catcher who plays for Racine who... Uh, when Tom Hanks and Gina Davis are having their signal off and mm-hmm. she's just sitting there waiting for them to finally, for Marla to finally come up to at bat. Mm-hmm. When she finally does, she just goes, oh, goody, and puts on her mask <laughs> and it was delightful. <laughs> yeah. Oh, there was so much great. There was mm-hmm. great. Yeah, I like that physical comedy with Marla in there like, where she keeps stepping yeah. in and out of the batter's box. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Was good. She did great. She really did. Kavanaugh. Was. Good job, Hooch. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Great. Well, before we get to our reveal, our final ratings, we like to read a review of our podcast, Toast Recall. And we have one. Thank you, listener. Yeah. A five-star review. We got one of those. In the impression of a (laughs) character from the movie. Or anyone, really. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Is anybody feeling particularly inspired well, I mean, there's there's rage filled Hanks. Yep, is fun. Rage filled drunk bus Hanks. Mm-hmm. Drunk bus Hanks. There's uh, Rosie O'Donnell. Yep. Any number of Staten Island Staten accents Island showed up yep. in this one. Yep. Mm-hmm. There's uh. I don't know. There's a still. Oh, well. like old timey uh, radio oh, announcer. announcer. Oh, yeah. Sure. Oh, that's good. Women, beep, girls beep, beep, playing beep, baseball. Beep, 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 There's Gary Marshall, except. Uh, God, I can't even. I'll do, I'll do uh, promotional old time propaganda yeah. promotion. Okay. Love it. America. America. Girls playing baseball. I must listen. I love this podcast. Two pizzas, two salads, one movie. This podcast has everything. Listen as these four hilarious friends try to remember classic and apparently not so classic <laughs> movies. This podcast will remind you of why you love some movies and make you realize that some are better left in the past. You won't regret <laughs> listening to this one. Thank you guys for making me laugh so much. My bet you will love this podcast. Oh. P.S. I love the pizza talk. Oh, no, that's a lie. Thank you, Celeste C42. Yeah. Oh. Thank you. Girls playing baseball. baseball. Girls With their reviews. hands? Yeah, we didn't mention how that guy totally buried the lead in that film reel. Yeah, he does the whole thing. <laughs> well, he does the whole girl. thing and then questions it. <laughs> Maybe he was like reading and then he looked up at the <laughs> film. Well, you think like, that was off script? Girls playing baseball. You think that wasn't part of the copy? <laughs> oh, the I like ran that. Out of the yeah, booth. yeah, I like That's that. Like, we already happened. got it. Too bad. <laughs> yep. Sorry, Reggie. Coffee. So thank you. If you would like your review read on the podcast, yes. leave it. 
on yeah. iTunes. Yeah. Make it five stars. Yeah. Or leave it somewhere else. Make but, it max. Yeah. <laughs> max, max it out. Maximum stars. Maximum Still rating. Well Rate it to the children. max. And then tell us about it. We only check iTunes. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Oh, Sorry. Alternate it's, podcast rating systems. Yeah. Podrater.com. <laughs> sure. Dan, you yeah. gave this a four <laughs> uh-huh. um, because you wanted to be a coward. Yep. And you were. And leave it room to grow. <laughs> yeah, like I wanted this to be a, a coward. cowardly five. Kind of, yeah. Like yeah. it was like I was worried it was not going to be great, but I also remember liking it and I couldn't see how it could possibly be that bad. Yeah. What is the rating? Nemesis oh, Children? Tommy Hanks, Nemesis Children. Oh, yeah. I'm going to, I'm not going to lie. Like I. When that kid got hit in the face, I wrote down, like, just to note to myself that I would add one rating just for that. Wow. Just for that kid getting hit with a baseball glove, I would add one. And I'm not dropping it from four because it was a delightful romp. Mm -hmm. And unlike Beth, I have a beating red heart. And I was very touched by the last 10 minutes of this movie. Five Nemesis children. Whoa. Wow. Great. Okay. Beth, you gave it a five because you are not a coward (laughs) yeah um i do have a black black heart um and i'm gonna drop it down (gasps) to a four because i really enjoyed it but there were moments that i found to be kind of boring Mm. so i can't give it a full five stars because i wasn't totally engaged the entire time was it because Mm. it was delightful was it was the problem there were just too many women on the screen Mm -hmm. yeah where are the men's stories yeah Yeah. i want to know more about the men yeah um i'm trying to think of like specific i just feel like the parts that were like that were like so thick like Mm -hmm. they're like we're gonna make you cry i'm like okay i don't need this Mm -hmm. (laughs) but that's yeah yeah Mm mm-hmm that's how I feel. Great. Great. I gave it a four because I couldn't remember it, so it can't be that good. Yeah. Oh. But it's probably pretty good. Yeah. I'm going to give it four and a half. Great. What? I liked it. But yeah, there weren't any like standout moments. Mm-hmm. It was just like an enjoyable, I mean, a solid, enjoyable, other than mouthy and coffee and yeah. the mm-hmm. kid getting hit in the face with a mitt. Yeah. Uh, enjoyable, good, well-made movie. Yeah. Everybody did a good job. Yeah. Good job, movie. Good job, movie. Good four, job nemesis. four and a half nemesis, nemesis children. Nemesis Ooh, children. Half a nemesis child. That's yeah. disturbing. Wow. Uh, Molly, you wanted you gave it a five. Mm-hmm. You wanted to protect your heart at first. Yeah. And give it a four. Yep. But you were inspired by Beth. Mm-hmm. Uh oh. So you <laughs> gave it a five. <laughs> uh oh. Okay, this is hard for me because I wanted. I wanted to give it a five throughout. And I can't quite do that, mm-hmm. even though it was really well done. I think it just didn't affect me in the same way. Um, but then there were delightful moments that I had completely forgotten about or glossed over. So I can't really fault this movie for anything, but somehow it still landed at a 4.5. Is it my fault? Did I ruin it for you? I mean, As we predicted. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that 25% came up, like more of a... No, I mean... I don't know. Like, I found myself reaching for my phone at one point, which is unusual for me when I'm fully engaged. Oh, yes. When and even engaged. though I was looking up information about the movie, <laughs> um, that still is a pretty bad indicator. Mm. But I mean, I don't know. It was good. I think it was just those opening shots. Like, I realized it wasn't the same movie I remembered. Mm. It's just so schmaltzy and over the top. I yeah. actually kind of wondered if they just cut it out when they show it on cable. Because I part? don't remember having seen it. The part with her, the mother and daughter talking. Yes, the and... beginning oh, part. sure. I, I don't remember ever don't remember having it. seen that part it before. It seems so surprising to me. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I wonder if they just cut right to them arriving at the... Um... Well, or the scout arriving at the dairy. Yeah, they probably would. Dairy. They'd have to keep the part where he's scouting them at the dairy. Yeah. No, because I feel like it just doesn't... It starts with like her flashback. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But, you know, maybe that just part was just unmemorable before... Um, but I still love the sister dynamic and I think I got into it in a different way. So yeah, I liked it. 4.5. Great. Oh man, we didn't even talk about Ferrari. What was the name of the costume designer? What? I don't know. It was like Elena Ferrari or something. Oh, well. 
she designed specifically the women's costumes. Mm-hmm. Oh, the like baseball the uniforms? Baseball, mm-hmm. yeah. yeah, for some reason there was somebody who did the men's costumes and someone who did the women's yeah, costumes. Women yeah, women don't know how men's clothes go. Yeah, and vice versa. Come gotta on. break it up. Couldn't do I it never wore a dress. What? That's, well, not, that's true. not true. Can, I've seen you wear a dress. Edit yes. this out. Cut this out. Cut this out. <laughs> I'm a man. I'm a full-blooded American <laughs> What's man. What's happening? This is definitely going in baseball. the cast. Baseball. Oh, right. Baseball. Hey, baseball. USA number hey, five. we took out Hitler. And <laughs> oh, there's that crazy part where, like, part of the fun of the games is where the girls are pitching baseballs at Mussolini, oh, Hitler, yeah. and, uh, uh, oh, God, what's his name? Sorry, World War II heads. Stone? No. no. Was the other one? The Japanese yeah. Emperor? Yeah. Oh. Well, I don't even know if it was the Emperor. It was just, like, you know, one of the military. Anyway. It's great because that I'm sure happened a lot. Yeah. Anyway, Molly <laughs> is literally probably the same. So this. Sorry. She hates the movie. No, she I hates don't. this podcast. <laughs> Happy anniversary, everybody. Happy anniversary. Yay. This is the last episode. No rush. <laughs> oh, come on. <laughs> Yay. Totes Recall is hosted by Molly Chase, Beth Gibbs, Dan Jaquette, and Dan Linden. Produced by Beth Gibbs. New episodes of Totes Recall drop on the 15th of every month. For more information and bonus content, visit us at totesrecall.com. Thank you so much for listening.